people on the wi on the Wi-Fi or what the fuck is happening, but this is really pissing me off. Put your HP and AC. Sorry for me. Yeah. Uh, 20 AC and 57 H, uh, HP. Okay, so you, you are the most, you are the tankiest out of all of us. Wait, 20 AC? We talked that naturally the sword gives me one plus one AC, and then I can transform it into a shield for plus three AC. Plus three. It's plus one if you're in. No, we said naturally it's a plus one if you're in your great sword form, so that it's yeah. heavy and it can block yeah, stuff. That's what plus I mean. two when it's a shield. Yeah. So plus one. Yeah, naturally to the sword. So I'll change it. So then I'll. Yes. Okay. I'll, so it's I'll either a plus one I'm or it's a plus two. Quite aware that the stream went yeah, down. I'll, I'll fix it. For some yeah, reason, I'll, I'll it just decides yeah, to do that sometimes, and it's so really it's, annoying. I'm still but Not with the sword, if it does go it down, I will be putting it right back up, and I will pause or as a the shield, game until I can no, back up as well. As so don't worry about Since it. You're natural AC you know, eighteen. Come back up eventually. I have. I took the plus one AC fighting style. Ooh. There's a plus one AC fighting style. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. If I have. I have defensive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hey, I actually don't need. I don't actually need to give up a a trap to make it. What is that? Magical tinkering. And still counting tiny... it as one of. I'm still counting it as one of your traps because Pluto had to also magically conjure all of these traps. Magical tinkering is a artificer thing. That doesn't matter to me. You because Pluto also had to use his spell slots and his spells to be. Give me a second to read it before you judge it. It'd be a tiny non-magical object with a magical property of your choice. Five-foot radius light, up to six-second long recorded message. It emits an odor, non-verbal sound, static visual effect, including okay, up to 25 words of text. And it's two objects at maximum. So you're a magical answering machine. And I like, I just, like I just said, you could, you could fabricate a, ma a flag. Yes. But like I just said, Pluto also had to use his spell slots for his traps. If you do that, then that will take up one of your traps, is what I'm calling it. You're replacing it, Anthony. Otherwise, otherwise you're otherwise you're literally, because that would be literally just replacing a trap. That would be the exact same thing. Well, the thought process here was to make a shiny, and this is talking out to the team, you can make something shiny to toss in the water that would probably grab someone's attention. I probably wouldn't recommend that. Uh, I could make a literal loop playing six second message of a rock. Someone repeatedly saying, got to keep an eye out for them. Can't let them sneak up on me. Six seconds that is a little short for that, don't you think? That's uh, I timed it. For, I timed it. I timed it a few times. You could actually say like a full two sentences in six seconds. No, but you, how, how often does it repeat? Because if they're just saying the same thing over and over, it's not like they're dumb. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. What? Uh, um. Could also be nonverbal sound, so you could have it yeah, imitate on. something. Before we even discuss, before we even discuss traps, we have to figure out the man's the the team situation first. We got to figure out who's going, who's staying. If you want to decide who defends the flag and uh, charges out to fight. I mean, if that's the strategy you, know, you want to go with. Okay, so yeah. you're probably going to need somebody with really good perception to guard the flag in case Scott tries to be sneaky boy and steal the flag from behind us. He is a thief. Yo, I'm your man. Disgusting. <laughs> 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 um, but also true. What is this perception? He's got a plus he eight? Is... Yeah, because he's got wisdom. Wisdom is. Uh, yeah, wisdom. he's a he's a cleric. Yeah. I've, I've got, yeah. I've got a passive of sixteen and a plus six to my perception, but. Plus three and a thirteen. I mean, do we want to do we want to split up an even three and three, or do we want to uh, or do we want to four to two? I wish we knew how many they would be sending. <laughs> um. So ideally they would probably want to keep Veronica 
back because she's squishy and I, d I don't know if they would want her tra traversing all the way here. Not only that, so but if a magic wielder goes up against her, she can do the bip, 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 no fun allowed sort of thing. So that's the question. Do you think they would send her out to counter any magic user that we might have as a defender? Or would they use her as a defender in case we send out one of our magic users against them? That is the question. You know her best, so what do you think she might do or decide <laughs> on? Look, we don't really talk tactics too much. We talk... Personality-wise, what do you think she would do? Personality-wise, I'm surprised she's not leading the group. <laughs> I don't know. I really feel like she might be the type to possibly hang back and guard the flag herself in case they do send someone like me or Hans since she can do all the cancellation magic and protection magic. Abjuration! So ideally we would want to send out non-magic casters potentially. Yes, but there's a, if she stays behind there yeah. might be a good chance they'd leave either... Isn't Mohan the only person that doesn't have spell slots? Was that her? I was about to say, isn't Mofon the only person that doesn't actually have any kind of spell slot? Do you have spell slots? No spells, nope. I have, uh, well, have Levitate is technically one, but it's a It's your it's a free feature. one day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Aren't you a glass cannon, though? Like most monks. He is also the fastest person. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, he would probably want one of them to go out because he's one of the fastest ones. Yeah. Me and, me you and would... him are the most mobile. You would need yeah, somebody so... who could heal you, at least. But Hans has if the best perception. Get... Hans is also good for being here because he can see a lot and also he has command work. If we can figure out where the flag is and if he can get me close enough, I can grab the flag. And in a pinch, I can heal them if I go out. I do have some healing spells. I do too now. Hmm. But I'm very squishy. So... Potentially, Rally, myself, and Mofon would go out while Hans, Lyriel, and Zog stay back. Zog can stay back and keep a lookout since he can probably see a little bit further. And he's the one who's technically holding on to the traps. We're assuming that Pluto would be up ahead, yes? Well, he he's not be... He's not going to advance. <laughs> I mean, he's the strong. He would be the strongest member on the team. Why not have him lead the attack? <laughs> I mean, you're on our team, so I guess that technically makes it fair. Lead with your strongest and all that. Okay. This isn't a trap. Who's who's who? We saying is going to deploy forward then? I think it should be. I, I'm kind of with Juan. I think it should be me, Jin, and Mofon. I am going to pick up a rock and hand it to to Rayleigh. Okay. It's not just you're a going boulder. To want, it's a you're rock. going to want... <laughs> you see this little button on the side of it? You're going to want to press it and then throw it in a direction. Is it a flash bomb? Okay. No, I have made the rock into a object that will play the sound of bagpipes when he presses the button and throws it. What? Ooh. Uh. Distraction. Is it self recorded? <laughs> yes. We're here to reach to you about your car's extended warranty. No, Pluto knows that Zog plays the bagpipes. He brought them on the fishing trip. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, no, I he have would, to draw that. He would assume <laughs> that I moved up ahead as opposed to staying back, and it would probably confuse him. That's provided he hasn't moved ahead himself. Mm. Anyone else guarding there would just be like, the fuck is the bagpipes? Worst case, someone could... You get someone to follow. Yeah. Okay. Rally, what's your AC again? I'm at 44. AC. AC. Oh, AC 16. Zog, what's your AC? 18 at the moment. Okay. If I take off my armor, it's going to be 14. 
but I'll um, have my advantage to stealth again. My regular we can stealth. Assume, we can assume that Scott is most likely po probably going to be coming for him because he's probably one of the fastest of their. I mean, yeah. rogue, thief, sneaky yeah, boy. That... So what I was planning on doing was we could move this to here. That, that's a pawn. Yes. Well, on on the water's edge. Uh, well, I don't want it out in the open like that. That's no. You move it. You move it over to one of these walls, and you attach a concussion grenade to it. So if someone pulls it, they get concussed. I will call full on Shannon against for that. Why? No That's messing with the flag itself. You can That's move the flag. With the... No messing with the flag itself. That's not messing with the flag. Attaching a, trap attaching a trigger to the trap. You cannot attach a trap to the flag. Okay, so then attach it to the front of the flag. You're just annoyed that you didn't think of that. No, it's not that I'm annoyed that I didn't think of that. It's that I gave you a set number of traps and you're trying to add more. I'm not adding what? more. He's That's saying literally... to use one of the concussion grenades, attach it to the flag so if someone grabs it and moves it, it goes off on their face. Exactly. They claim more full it becomes a trip mine. I'm not turning the flag into a concussion. It's literally putting. If it's like so, you're. Frag... If so, you're losing one of your concussion grenades. So I mean, Anthony gets one, so we'll just call it that. That's the one that he loses. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm saying using one of my tr grenades to attach to the flag, on a pull string. I still also have a pitfall trap to place down, which I'm still trying to figure out where the hell that's going. Put it in front. If they fi if they figure out it's a pitfall trap, they'll have to go around. Then they would have to go through Fair the rough enough. terrain behind it. So we're saying here? Uh, I'd like to or... against this wall. Well, the reason I said back there but where it was before, um, in front of it, it would be a, the pitfall. Like, move it down a little bit. So in front of it would be the pitfall. So if they find that pitfall... They would have to go around and right, go through the so, rough terrain to get it from behind. Like this. How big? I can be aware of it. Uh, like how big is the is the pitfall? I don't actually know how big the pitfall is. That dimensions weren't given to me for that one. It's ten by ten. We did discuss the dimensions. Oh, uh, was ten by ten? Okay, so basically it's ten by ten. It's right a four. Of, it's four square. Yeah. So the four square is essentially in front of, directly in front of the flag. Will be the pitfall. We'll also add the yeah. concussion grenade to the flag, so that if they actually do get to it, at least it'll go off and will be warned, and they'll be they'll be stunned for mm -hmm. however long. But then also, if they have to go around, they'll be going through the water, so it'll be rough terrain. So I'd also probably out. put like a web trap. <laughs> a lot of no. stuff. This one spot. No, no, so you have one trap here, one trap here, and then the flag itself trapped. And then... Three traps on this one. Uh, well, do you want any traps on the other map? You have to... I mean, that might be a little excessive, considering I'm planning on being, like, over here. Um, In... hmm. What should I do, then? Because I'm assuming this tree is taller than these walls. Uh, no, uh, well, it is, but the the root there is a root, so it is not just a burnt out building. It, it is actually supposed to have. It's just that the roof doesn't go up on this map. It just shows you the first floor because there's one floor, and the rest of the roof is above that. Okay, so this is this is not a roofless ruin. Yeah. Same thing with the cathedral, actually. It's not a roofless cathedral. It's not bomb so bombed out there. There is. So then, in that case, but it is. would we be comfortable putting it here and then still having uh, the pitfall in roughly the same place instead of having the web over here? I'd like it. I'd like it to space up. I don't want it. I don't technically want it outside the perimeter of the building. Okay, well, the only reason I was saying down here because someone could still sneak through 
over here and walk out without me seeing them if I'm in this tree. But I could also, like, take well, a position. You've got two other people else. here with you. As it's not just you watching it. Oh. Lyria will be somewhere in position. Well, Hans would be somewhere in position. Lyria, does your Okami form give you any, like, other, like, I don't know, tracking capabilities or something? I can read to you. Uh, I have Doc Vision. A passive perception of 16. I cannot speak, unfortunately. I have advantage on perception checks that rely on hearing and smell. Um, it doesn't help me here, but I have advantage on charisma-based ability checks against fake reaches. But that's about it. Um, I can produce flames, control flames. Oh, I can cast fairy fire! Doesn't that help um, reveal hidden people? Um, yeah. Yeah. Good. I also have daylight, so I can light up the ruins of the building. For the fairy fire, how does that work? Does it, you have to hit them with it, or it's a twenty foot uh, cube? Yeah. yeah Choose a twenty foot cube, and it gets lit up. So anything invisible in that cube is now spotted, or anything hidden in that cube is spotted. As long as they fail a dex saving throw. Yep. Uh, hmm. What are are rogues dex based? Yeah. Oh god damn it! I actually don't oh. know what the save for this would be because it doesn't give me. Um. It'll be based off of. Um, you should have a saving throw. It doesn't have one attached to it. I know the the spell won't, but you do. I'm pretty sure I've put it in a save specifically um, for your um, um, Let me check it out. Just an FYI. Fourteen. I'm going. I'm going to assume, for the purposes of this thing, that I have rubber bullets. Yeah, everyone's yes. got like blunted weapons oh, and everything. Blunted weapons, rubber bullets. You're not killing anyone today. I'm just making this clear. Yeah. No. No. Hundred percent. No one it's has anything. Still that going to suck to get shot, but it's not going to kill you. No. No one will die. You go unconscious like last time. Got a question. The way we're setting this up, are we trying to control the way they come into the place, or are we just going to try and trap them with all these things? Because it's always good to like redirect where they're coming. You know. Well, yeah, that them. that's the idea. So. Yeah, we want the them two... to move the way we want. Yeah. So the two traps that I, that we have by the flag are essentially going to be like the, deterrence. You know, the concussion, when that goes off, it's going to be, holy shit, the flag's been moved, and we didn't notice it. That per We I have mean, time to get there. Yeah. I don't know what the red line is. That's... I think the red was the web marker, wasn't it? No, I, I deleted web the web marker because I figured we could place that elsewhere. Okay. Oh, then just delete that one, then. All right. No uh, web. Unless, unless someone wants... To have three traps around here because I still have three more to place. If you guys could like keep, if if they did come, if you keep them in this right side of the building, since there's a lot more viewing room here on the right side than there is the left side because you have these two little walls right here. Well, you still have another map to set up traps, so I mean, we have two webs and one concussion left of mine. Two webs and one concussion, yeah. So, I can't actually delete this red line because I didn't draw it. How do you delete this line? Uh, it's there. Uh, you click select and then uh, delete. Use the uh, mouse. Uh, like a web in this, in this choke point right here. Well, are, do you want to use a web trap here or do you want to set it forward? Is what I'm saying. Do what you said. So we can use one in the forward. We can so so that we'll have one pit bomb on web in the forest and the concussion. Okay. So you're saying here. Yeah. Well, more like so. It's like they can't like squeak through this area. Um. Yeah. yeah. No. No. More up to the left. Are these, these things 
things I'm assuming are doorways and not windows, right? These gaps right here. Yeah, I'm. I I guess so. Correct. They're not. Well, they're not all doorways. Um. So only the two by twos are doorways, actually. The one by ones are just breaks in the wall that someone could get through. So if you see a one by one space, it's basically like there's a there was a shelling here and enough of it got broken down uh, that there's new spaces in the wall. There's no it's not a doorway. It's not an accurate doorway. So realistically, to this building, there's only two realistic doors. One here and one here. Everything else is just shelled out to be open. So we really need to control their movement so they stay at least the, on this right side of the building. We keep them from coming in this way. Hans, Hans will maintain, I think Hans should maintain a more of a vigil by the flag area and while, while Lirial in her Okami form can like patrol with her uh, better like perception tactics. I can only keep it for an hour. Well, won't be long enough. Take an hour to get here. And I've got a 40 foot speed. I've got a little more speed. I mean, I've got more legs, so. You have feet. Many feet. Four of them. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, and then. Which we've got, now we have to plan where we want the traps on the other map. Yep. I will put you to the other map. Okay, question again, because you know, my brain. All right, this map or this map is north of our, our position or east? Yes. Or north. I mean west. Uh, east. Yeah. Oh, it's north. Okay. Directly north of your position. So this is how deep is this water? That's ocean. It it, it yeah. starts as beach and it goes out to ocean. This is a cliff here. <laughs> yeah, that's a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the cliff itself is about 20 feet up. Okay, so if you knock somebody down, it will knock the wind out of them at the <laughs> minimum. Uh, they're not going to be sneaking yeah. up that, is the point. I... Unless they get spider climb. Or they're yeah, dex based. Dex based and have a, a climb and pitten, which is in a normal deep skin. See, this place would be ideal to put like a web trap too. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, like back here, maybe? Uh... Well, that's if they're coming via the beach, but they still have to climb up to get to our place. We've got, we're like, our, our area is well, on the wait, higher ground. Don't, aren't they coming through here? Yeah, they might. Not coming... Yeah, yeah. No, 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 they're coming. They have to come from the north east. So they're okay, going I did down. Not. Okay, so they're going down. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're our base if, on this level not here, all, not and all, and right down and uh, Dan is correct. They have to climb. They have to scale that uh, the wall in order to get to your place. The the beach does not our, lead them to your location. So our location is on the same level as this area. Yes. Okay. They could. If they weren't going, going to do something, right they here. could. Yeah. What about there? Oh, they can't. They, oh, no, no. Yeah, that's a decent place. I'm still thinking one of them might try and climb up here. Well, I mean, you could take the concussion and put it here, and then have that have the remote to detonate that. True. Or you could set it as a trip line so that if they grab the ledge... Yeah, because you set one up there, there's no way they would know how many we have. So we can have one there, they'll assume we have more than one there. And then so you we... can literally force them to move up here. Yeah, and then where should we put the last pitfall trap? I think somewhere... Actually, uh, I would suggest we put the pitfall here. I only, I only had two one. webs and two concussions and one pitfall. One pitfall yeah. trap. Two webs, two conditions. You put one concussion on the flag, you have to put down two webs. We have one concussion left. Yeah, so they're, they're discussing right now where to put it. And I just made the tiny square it, so if someone has an idea. I do like the right by there in case somebody does try. I feel like one of the, I, like I said, they have a rogue. 
I feel like that rogue's trying to get as here with as little injury as possible. Ideally, um, we want to stop them on this map. Stopping them in our area would be a last resort. That's like full on fighting. Because well, if we can if they, stop I mean, them here, could, they won't be you, able to take our flag. They cut, well, no, if they come to our area, then we'll have numbers advantage. At least for a mm. small time, assuming the other group is tier, like decides to come in behind them. If we mm. set up false positives, would that be counting as traps? What do you mean? You're going to you're gonna need an explanation there, dude. So a false positive being like uh, you traps. set up a pile, you set up, set up like a pile of sticks here. Arguably, yes. Because Arguably that would, yes. yeah, because you'd be faking someone out. I, I would count faking someone out as part of the Okay. You're saying, uh, by the way, we only have one concussion left, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have one concussion left, and it's that tiny little purple square, so. I like, where it, I like where it is down at the bottom of the map. Okay. So you have web just above it, and then concussion there. Yeah, because because the idea came to mind was like you could try and corral them to that section by like having rope off to the side. Well, I mean, no, I can actually get down. I can actually get down without having to take a climbing thing. Remember this. Yeah, I know. I can Echo Knight. Down that quickly. Well, no, he's also a Goliath. And teleport. Yeah. That's what it's I was. He can go up and down. Yeah, he's teleporting via Echo Knight. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I got at. Purple square is the web you said. The big Concussion one mine. is the web. The tiny one is the grenade. Oh, oh, where'd it go? And Hello. we're somewhere else now. Oh. The void. It changed. The it to void. What? It changed it to the a void. black giant black void. Why did it? Why is it doing that? That's dumb. I haven't touched your map. Shadow. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Did yeah. you press a hot key by accident? No. Is it better? Oh, there it goes. Okay, that's dumb. I changed the lighting on a different map that I was going, that I was planning on having for much later, and it apparently affected that one too. That's stupid. <laughs> I would say why not put it here? That way you're covering all this entire section, like this whole area. If you put the web? the web here, yeah. Put the web here, you're covering more ground. Because right there, you're only covering two points of entry. Whereas over here, you'd be covering four of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not how I was thinking about it was when, when the three of us go up this, um, I was assu what I assumed our plan was be Mofon would take like the left side over here as best you could, Jin would take the middle, and I would be the one on the like on the right area. And then so that way we could just kind of like collapse in on each other and have Juan in the front since he's the tankiest. We could do a, um, not a staggering relay. Uh, you know, like one one moves up, one stays put, the other one moves past them, the foot alternating. Well, because what you call it, if I'm moving up the cliff thing here, it's like it's going to have to be you and Juan doing that. What's every what's uh what's yours and Juan's moving movement speed? I have thirty. You both yeah, have thirty. Yeah. Okay, so I'm the fastest, so I ideally yeah. should be playing. Well, you're the, well, no, you shouldn't take the lead because if you get hit first, you're in trouble already. Yeah, and and I'm the one that you'll need to like snatch the flag in the in the rush if I have to. Fly in, that's fly I, out. That's why, that's why even though it'll slow it down a little bit, Juan should take the lead. Oh, because higher AC, right? Yeah. yeah. Get in there, Eagle One. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. He can fly. I can fly. Without no, using his levitation spell. Fly either. Oh. They, huh? have a, they have a hunter. Do make yourself a target in the air. Ah, oh, yes. Grong is a monster hunter ranger. Wait, doesn't that mean... What does a monster hunter ranger? Does that mean they have advantage against beasts? Uh, only if it's their favored terrain. Or if only it, if it's their favorite enemy. Alright, big question because most of the time uh, my old DM would do this for us, but it says here I can take dodge actions as bonus actions. What exactly mm -hmm. does that mean? I can't literally dodge when I'm being attacked? 
I no, you can't dodge. To dodge. Yeah, you basically take the dodge action, bonus action before they return. So that way you, you know, say it beforehand, and then anytime someone attacks you while dodging, they have a disadvantage. Okay, got it. All right, so it's just if works. I know I'm going to be attacked on the next round, I would announce my dodge already. Yes. Okay. You can't dodge as a reaction, because um, then you'd just be invincible. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's basically at the cost of your bonus action, which could be put towards you know doing more damage through flurry of blows. Yeah. You can avoid damage. Well, I'm squ I'm a squishy boy, so if if the dodge will help save me. I can keep yeah, it in reserve. It could be pretty useful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be very useful we to have. We have a game plan by now. Are we ready to get this on the road? What do we want to do the battle well, now? Are we or do done? we want to go to are the we done with the tra Wait, how many more traps do we have? We're done with traps. You have We're your own traps. Now we have our grenades, grenades now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yep. then... You have your own personal flashbang. Can you what you do with them? Is up to you. Can we look at the next area real quick? I want to know what our strategy Ooh. is because technically we have the high ground if we're on that level. No, they have the high ground. No, they have the high ground. We're you at go the north bottom north. of the hill. Um, we're going. Yeah, you're at the bottom of the hill. You're going up. Oh, wait. How they have to look at this then. Uh, from right to left. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're starting from the right. You're going to the left. Oh, okay. Yep. And each of those hills, you know, they they have the higher up ground from those hills. You guys have a forest, which makes it so that you can make yourself much easier in a forest terrain. Really, like this this map should have been turned like ninety degrees to kind of perfectly reflect how the order really. We'll do that. I'll change it ninety degrees. Just so it's clear that like because we're moving north essentially on the maps. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me uh, do that. I'm going to have to open another object and then just refit the map itself and move all of my changes to that map. Uh, oh, there. Are these still 5x5 five five squares or are these 10x10s? Ten uh, they're still the same. They're the same as okay. before. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you just have to get up to the top of the hill. Um, once you get past the hill, you're clear to keep moving up. So um, the church itself is on a larger hill. It's not that far. This... So guys, um, you can see my arrow, right? Yeah. yeah. So you should be yeah. starting from here and you're going up to there. All right. This is literally the shortest way up, but it also could be the place they could put a trap in. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. so, it's too obvious a route. Yep. And also, you got to remember, every elevation uh, halves your movement. You have to climb up. So wherever you see elevation, like you have 10, to climb up. From there. 10, also, 10 we don't first. know what kind of traps Professor Pluto is putting out. Yep. Is it, ten, is it like 10 feet per level? Uh, it's 10 feet if you're going up a level. Yes. You probably put in some cheeky illusions. Oh, maybe. Yes. Well, he is a caster, a wizard, so they have utility. Yep. Lots <laughs> and lots Skeleton. and lots. This route seems to be the one that offers the most cover. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll just have to see what they throw up against us first, so. Mm -hmm. Although this tree would be, this tree right here would be in their way, this one. But that would also be in our way. Hmm. But also, it's, it's good to have that planned out, but at least, you know, even if something changes, we can always do like little adjustments to our plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're, what do you think, guys? I think we're as planned as we're ever going to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, remember, the actual uh, show doesn't happen for another few days. So, is there anything else you guys want to do before then, like going to check in with other contacts or anything else? Um, I think there were other leads that you guys wanted to follow. I mean, I think 
we really should get the fighting over now so it's not like the second half and we're all tired. Oh no, I was planning for you guys to do this next session entirely because I have other stuff that I have to wow. <laughs> I'm being completely frank with you. I I planned I have I have this ready, but I now planned for it to move to the next session, the last session that you guys wanted to chill out the fight. Okay, so by next session, this will be rotated like 90 degrees clockwise? Yep. Yeah, cool. I'll make those changes um, for next so that you guys, uh, it'll be easier for you guys to look at. And I'll try to make it so that it, I'll try to pretty it up so it looks a little better. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're still searching for. Captain Featherbeard? Well, we, no, we're looking uh, for well, a captain. If we want to Porsche. sneak onto his boat as a crew, but we could go to the docks and try to find a crew of our own, which which uh, Mr. Lockhart said he would help us with. <laughs> I'm sorry, but my dick butt drawing's still there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was you. <laughs> I was like, who drew dick butt? I'll be right back. Ah. I, I'm going to have my headset on so I can hear you, but I'll be right back. Yeah, so the rest of my party and my other session has have finally found out that my character actually is one of the richest people on the uh, area. <laughs> so they all made like stupid ass requests, like I want a hooker, I want cocaine. I like cocaine. Okay. Like a fook now. Hook me up. One of our characters is literally called Duke Cocaine. <laughs> but he's totally um, so yeah. right now we're trying to find a crew to join or a something or a captain to hire or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um how do none of us have seafaring? Because we never think about that. Because yeah. we were why would we think about seafaring? Because Darius. What about me? <laughs> I'm not always all about seafaring stuff. In fact, I don't always do seafaring stuff. Um, so, uh, I guess we're going to need to t either take a trip to, to see Lockhart to see if he knows anyone that we can speak to about joining a crew since he's, he said that he would do that for us. Or... Hey. Would Pluto or anyone in the school actually? How do do we get adventure or like job requests from the school? Yes, absolutely. There so, are side quests um, for that as well. So potentially, someone at the school would know uh, would know have information on potentially ship crews looking for temporary um, workers or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, if there's a... Um, it depends on what kind of work they're going to do, and they might not be looking for an unless they're doing an expedition of some sort. Uh, sometimes they'll only put out like a call for like, hey, we need a Tempest player to make sure that we can get through storms pretty well. Yeah. Um, and you're a venturing but, university, but, you can talk about The whole point is... There is someone who has contacts with different groups of people that are potentially looking for assistance. So we can potentially speak to someone at the school to see if we can get onto a ship crew of some kind. Or we, they would at least know who we can speak to about getting onto a ship. Yeah, of course. Oh, the police something. captain would know that too, wouldn't he? Uh, the sheriff? Yeah, don't we still I mean, have his number or something? Yes, they do. Yes, but he would be more on the legal side and potentially the one yeah. from the school, depending on the connections, even though they're supposed to be legal, they would have some inkling on maybe the shadier side be just because they know what to keep watch for. Yeah, that's fair. And I don't know if the sheriff would 
should be giving us contacts of shady dealings or if he'll even want to give us give us those contacts. I mean, he loves us. Uh, Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, so that one works. Think of all the good we've done. Well, actually, Jin won't remember that, so sorry. (laughs) So let's let let's speak with Pluto first about if he has any contacts that we can speak to, since he's the one who's given us this adventure, anyways. Or yeah, if he knows anyone. Other than Lockhart, because right now he does, Lockhart doesn't want to really be a captain for us. Well, hmm. Isn't Professor Callus an order of part of an order of Tempest clerics? Wouldn't they know have um blah 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 connections blah, to people blah, blah, who blah. sail ships because you know Tempest seas that sort of thing. That could be a backup yes, just probably. in case. Yes, probably she would. Well, if same not thing her. With Paimana, same thing with Kaimana since he's now at the school. I, I was just about to say, if not her, then um, Bishop Kaimana. He, he wears the same symbol. Um, okay. Um, I guess let's go look for, for them. See if they have any contacts. Well, let's go with... Uh, Pluto first, since he's the one who gave us this adventure, see if he has anyone. Then we can go to Kaimana or uh, uh, Callie um, to see if they Callus. have any contacts. Callus, yeah, sorry. Callus, that if they have any contacts that we can get in touch with. And then we'll, the school and the sheriff will kind of need, will need to be our last resorts, I guess. Okay. Who are you going after first? You're going to go talk to We'll speak with Pluto since technically we're still in class. We're already at the okay. <laughs> yep, perfect. Okay, so you meander your way over to Pluto. Uh, anything I can help you guys with? Um, so I guess speaking with Lockhart and trying to get him to be acting as our captain is a no go right now. So, um, are do you know of anyone else that we can potentially that would potentially like oh, bring us along as temporary crewmates just for this uh, just to try and get in touch get in contact with or find um Navarro? Uh Navarres and uh, hmm. Lockhart is the only captain I know, unfortunately. Um and he was the best after what I saw over the weekend though. Hmm. What did you and he said um, Mr. Lockhart talk about? We just had a discussion over um, this uh, this work and uh, about uh, where these pirates might possibly head to. Um, I wanted his opinion on uh, some of the, um, on some of the um, uh, if he knew anything, um... and I also asked him as well if he would reconsider uh, being your captain. Um, he seems reluctant to do so. What? But he says if it, we can at least find the crew and ship, he would try as a favor to me. Oh, <laughs> um, what Professor Pluto is talking about, we had a bit of an issue yesterday at the um, circus. We ran into Mr weirdy shapeshifter dude again by the way you're telling the group this yes okay and um jin actually got a really good hit on him uh but he was disguised as professor pluto and he was going after lockhart which means somehow he knew that we had a new connection to lockhart and we're going to him for a favor and I guess he also knew somehow that Professor Pluto was coming to meet Lockhart to talk to him privately because that's what he told us he was there to do. Which is very concerning. But, um, on another note, I found a way to sort of unmask him, so to speak, in case you were worried that someone might be the shapeshifter. Um, I, you just 
you take a picture and even if he shifted into someone else it's distorted watch i'm gonna bring my phone out and take a picture of the entire group <laughs> like a like a selfie sort of thing everyone in the group yes all right and you find one to certain no i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I everyone. find everybody's one. Rumble. Every everyone except for you is distorted. <laughs> well, shit, Missy step. <laughs> wait, 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 there was a smudge on the lens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, now if he was amongst the group, got a bad group, feeling about this. If he was amongst the group, it would be glitchy and distorted. So. In his normal, normal, quote unquote, air quotes, he's also very distorted. So I don't know what could be causing that. It's a very strange thing. But, um, he also put the mind prison on Jin in case you haven't noticed him and Hans now have similar fun scars. Woo! But, um, yeah, he stabbed Lockhart in the gut. It was kind of jarring. I don't know how he keeps finding this shit out. Well, we'll find out, I guess, eventually, hopefully. Um, so, when you spoke to Lockhart about the potential locations that Navarra's might be at, was there any... Did anything come about that? Uh, we weren't looking into Navarra's. We were looking into Captain Feather. Uh, Navarra's is a completely another different type of beast. Uh, more politically connected than just dealing with a pirate. Uh, the captain himself seems to be looking for uh, a rare artifact um, that seemed to have washed up here. Um, he's going to be checking a... Um, he seems to be heading towards, currently, a uh, sunken ship that's off the coast. Of Malayne, uh, which is the um, which is the country that borders um, Veilstone. It's just across the sea from us. In between there is a is a wrecked ship that apparently has a um, a piece to a first item that they're looking for for called um, the Bell of the Deeps. The bell of the what? The bell of the deep sea. What does that do? Not sure. We just know it's a cursed object. Oh, I get to summon Cthulhu. Uh, I'd hope not. That <laughs> sounds like more than my pay grade. Or yours. Or really anyone's. We get paid. Oh yes, I guess we do get paid by the police officers. So is was Featherbeard the only one searching for this, or are there other crews searching? Um, hmm. You know, that's a good question. I haven't uh, checked in um, with Dell to see if maybe there are other crews that could be involved. Um, I mean, it would be a outstanding archaeolo uh, archaeological find as the ship actually sunk during... Uh, the 100 Years of War, about two centuries, um, a little less than a century back. Um, and the uh, ship itself had come from, uh, it seemed, the Triumvirate. Um, during the time, the Triumvirate were allied with, um, um, were allied with the, um, with the uh, Fae Federation, um, and we're fighting against both the Clove and the Free Marches um, in a sort of uh, war, uh, a war against um, religion and some of the problems there. Uh, back then, the Triumvirate wasn't the Triumvirate either. It was a full uh, community and kingdom uh, in that dynasty. But it, as you probably know, was shattered. Um, um, after the centuries-long war and a new war to start. Okay. Um, but along with that relic, were there other treasure, or is there any rumors about treasure involved? So that that could, if there is, 
there's bound to be other crews after that. I would assume there might be some other crews after it. I've not heard of other treasures. I mean, it's not the only ship that's been lost in that harbor, so it's possible that there are many uh, a captain who would be willing to go out there uh, and search for treasure. Some can, it, it's not the only ship that fell, after all. There are plenty of ships. Um, in that place that would have gone down. If it's an archaeological find, would there could there be potentially other crews well, looking, not that specific treasure, but in that area in general? Would this be considered archaeological or anthropological? I'm just messing around with my grammar because I'm trying to figure out if it should be archaeological to find some uh, to find a shipwreck. Or, anthropo um, or anthropological, um, to study on the people who got shipwrecked. Either way, um, it, it is likely that there are crews that could be going there. If I know, I wouldn't know which crews are, I wouldn't be the guy to ask. Uh, you may have to talk to uh, Vice Principal Dell or head down to the heart and see if you can have a discussion with the Harbor Masters. Uh, Archaeological is still fine. Hmm? Oh, it is? Archaeological okay. is still fine because you're excavating sites and looking for artifacts and analyzing artifacts, so it's still technically correct. Okay. All right, so I was using the right thing. Yeah. Um, so Dell would... Since it's seafaring, would should we speak with... Callus or um, Kaimana as well? See if they uh, know anything. You could absolutely go ask them. They probably have some discussions with um, the dock workers themselves and probably have some discussions with um, those people of the sea. Um, they might be able to give you some sort of assistance. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. Would be more available at this time. Uh, Callus will probably have classes. Kaimana will be in his church. Well, venerating his church. Let's, let's, I guess we can hit up Kaimana first and then see if Callus is, is available, if there's anything we can get from her, or, and then Dell, uh, Vice President Principal Dell. If anyone has any better ideas, though. No. No, nope. going to command sounds good. Works for me. Yeah. All right. And uh, you're all doing that together, then? One so... moment. Okay. Uh, I need to speak with Professor Zolg, Professor Pluto, and Riley. Every, okay, right, here. Nobody Riley, else. who was like, out of the whole situation once politics was mentioned. <laughs> of... <laughs> Zooming out into space. While, oh, you guys, while you guys speak, maybe Hans, Mofan, and myself can go see if we can find Kamana and it's speak to him about. It's not going to take long. I don't know what you think we're going to be talking about, but it's not. Uh, it just, won't take long. Just let them go. Just let them go. Hand up. Kill two birds with one sword. Sure, I suppose. One of the statement be kill two birds with one bird in your case. Yeah, so after I, we speak with Kaimana, you guys can can speak with uh, Kalos then. And then maybe we can meet up uh, by Principal Del, Vice Principal Dell's office. Checks out. So what did you need to talk about? Oh, right. Um, Professor Pluto, you you were in the circus, right? You're a performer. Yes, of course. Do you you don't do you play musical instruments? Uh, yes. Is has there ever been a case of a song where everyone who listened to it heard something different? Pluto, sort of like. This entire time, he's been, like, organizing his notes and half paying attention to you. Uh, he kind of, like, 
his ears perk up at this and kind of looks at you. What? No. Why? Um, well... I'm doing what now? What? 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 What did you say? You said something about the song, and I just reiterated it. No. Uh, um, okay. Riley, when we went to the park yeah. and met with mm -hmm. Officer Venris, who we didn't know was there, do you remember that song that came out of our phones? The lullaby. Yeah, a little bit. It's a little bit fuzzy now, but there was a thing, yes. It wasn't that long ago, but yeah. So I heard that again in the wax museum when I was at the circus. And huh. now it's stuck in my head. But when I play it and she pulls out a flute from her bag, nobody hears the same song I do. They hear different songs. Nobody. Uh, do, do, you do you can play? Um, let me take out. I took out the. No I take out the notebook where I wrote the music notes down, and I put it on the table so Pluto can look over it while I play it. While you're taking okay. this, like Riley's giving me like like little just like gentle forward shoves, like do it, do it, do it, come on, come on. Now when I play it, I hear a little. We're out of the. We're out of the room already, right? We're we're not yep. in the room. Yeah, you're 100% out of the room. Jin, did you tell Lyrio? <laughs> don't want you to have a, uh, a mental break. Jin, did you tell <laughs> Did you tell Lyrio what you heard? I, Riley doesn't really Uh, know. what? When I was having my anxiety when, attack? Yeah, when she played the notes while you were having an anxiety attack. Because Darius said you did hear it. I heard. I don't know what I heard. Because, again, I was having an anxiety attack, and I was trying to calm down. Alright, well, I at least know Novus and Hazel hear different music than I do. Mm -hmm. And Riley's here because she's my sort of fail-safe option, because she's heard the same music I have. And obviously, I can't get Officer Venris here to double-check with her, but if I run into her, I'm probably going to give it a shot. But she opens the notebook and then shows him the notes that she wrote down when she heard the song... And then she starts to play. Uh, you begin to play. Every single person around you. Uh, let me look at your character sheet real quick. Real quick, Tally. Real quick. Can I make like a perception check? Don't make a perception check. I'm pretty sure you need to make an intelligence no, check. No, I'm not doing Maybe it not. to activate the ability. I'm not pl okay. Then in that case, I won't play the full song. Funny thing about your new tune. <laughs> um, when anyone hears this, they do. Um, when Liriel is hearing this, when she's hearing herself play this flute, it. it sounds like a lullaby. It sounds like something very sweet. Everyone else hears discordant, shoddy music. Even Riley, who's already yes. heard the lullaby? She didn't hear the lullaby. I know that for a fact because I wrote it down in my notes. She heard it out of her Every phone. Sing no, she didn't hear that out of her phone. What she heard was discordant music out of her phone. You were the only one who heard it, and I said that to, um, that night as well. Dan, do you remember that? Not particularly, no. You were the only person who hears that music. You o you're the only one who hears it that way. I remember hearing something, but I don't remember what it was. Most of the stuff I remember was, you know, the room, uh, everything that happened in there, the, the lullaby. You know, yeah. it happened. Uh, okay, that's... Um, I, I think you need uh, more, more lessons. No, my more. playing is fine. I just don't understand why I hear something different than everyone else. You say you're playing is fine, like Riley, like bends over to like look you dead in the face and goes, "I disagree." Okay then. <laughs> I play something else. Well, Zog just did an Arcana check. On the music. Well, the Nat Twenty. He assumed it was the flute was magical. 
Not the flute. I rip into a fucking concerto pro fucking level <laughs> just <laughs> to, Wiley to shut up. You go ab you go absolutely fucking nuts on the flute. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, all we're hearing is Ariel just kind of goes, eh, you were a little bit flat in the second course. Bitch. I have no idea what Ooh. I have no idea what skill check to have used here, so I went with Arcana. No, no, Arcana, Arcana is a good check. Because um, it seems to be, and a you magical. got a nat twenty, and you got a nat twenty on the check itself. Um, the tune itself. Um, what would I put this under? I think I would call this an enchantment. It's you can you can understand that the school of whatever this song is it sounds like you know there's verbal components to spells right it sounds like the verbal components of a spell but there's no words it's a staff um it's an ocarina got it <laughs> um so she's she's using verbal components instead of um she's using you know music to cast some sort of spell. The spell itself seems to be strange in its creation. Um, the spell has to do with uh, creating discord in creatures around her. In fact, just hearing it almost, um, like, almost makes you want to go into a berserk rage and start hitting things. Um, in the... control. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine, just remember your deep breath exercise. <laughs> um, but you do pick up notes of a sort of maddening song. Um, I just hmm. want to know where it comes from and why I keep hearing it randomly. And why it won't get the fuck out of my head. I'm looking at the sheet music, and the, the music here isn't what you played. Weird. Weird. Um, the notes actually, are Maybe they are the same. Well, maybe Professor this is Pluto. the same notes. They are like Professor Pluto. Lower. Yes. She hands you the flute. Would you play what you see? He begins playing what he sees. Everyone in the room, uh, it's not the same. It's not the same at all. Um, the song that he plays uh, is still dis um, dis um, like uh, discordant and uh, like incorrect, but you also hear it as discordant. Like he's playing it. So that's what everyone else hears. Yeah. The song seems like it, um, he's playing it well. Some, somehow it's not the right song. Like he's getting all the notes too high or too low for some reason. It's kind of nice to know what everybody else hears because I thought I was just going absolutely insane. It might be. It's still the song that you're hearing in just your own head. When you play it. Yes. So... Or when you hear it from certain sources. I don't know what those sources are or how they keep fucking finding me. <laughs> That's the concerning part. Yup. Because the last time I heard that song, we got knocked out and woke up in some sort of weird hellscape puzzle mansion. And the time after that, you were in a wax museum. Yes. I only sang the first part because she got clawed by that one police officer. I thought it was fun. Yes, well, you were solving a puzzle, not getting the shit beat out of you by a werewolf. You were the gym. Oh, yes, like that was going to help me when I was tied to her. I don't know. He could have fought her. I don't know. <laughs> but it worked out. Uh... <laughs> I feel tired. I'm not aware of any sort of magic that comes from... I mean, maybe this isn't really a question for me and more a question it's for... a question for a bard. Bard, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, do we have any bards on 
campus. Do oh. have a teacher. Huh? Mm -hmm. Is there? We do have a. You have a bar yeah, teacher. teacher. Yeah, there's a bar God. teacher. There's oh. not many teachers, but there is a bar teacher. Um, what's his? What's their name? What do they look like? Um, he yeah, is Steven Tyler. Oh my God! Shut up. <laughs> it's just a mouth. No, that's awful. Cursed. Uh, he is actually an Aarakocra. Oh. Um, songbird, who would have guessed? Mm -hmm. Yes, he is a songbird. He's indeed a songbird. <laughs> Literally. Um, he has a... Uh, 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 like a yellow face. It's He's literally a songbird. It's a canary. Yellow face. Songbird. Parakeet, hmm. canary. Tweety bird. Uh, it's a canary. Oh, that's lovely. Tweety bird. Oh, shit. Um, what particular part of the school does he reside in? Um, he shouldn't be far from, um... My other magic classes. I can take you to go see him. Um, yes, please. Mm hmm. Of course. Um. Well, no. This will have to be after some of my classes because I've got classes to do too. Well, if you could uh, just point me in the right direction. Uh, sure. You're going to go down the hall. Uh, take two left, and he should be the door on the right. Okay, I can probably go see him after we speak with Professor Callus. Okay. Huh? I'm basically following you. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. Professor Callus, I well, I've already been to the sorcerer classroom, so I know where she's at. Yep. Uh, Jin, Hans, Mufan, you go find Kamana. The cathedral, isn't he? Mm hmm. He is in the cathedral. Um, he's currently, it looks like he's currently like, um, there are a lot of people around right now. <laughs> the cathedral used to belong to Bishop Vish, and so it was assigned to Paylor. He is currently, um, you can see that, uh, Kaimana, um, who is a, um, Shiny blue skinned, uh, Triton slash half elf. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, he's a sea elf, sea elf, elf slash, he's half sea elf, half Triton. Yep, which makes him a half elf too. Technically, um, yes. Is, um, currently assisting with like removing some of the Paylor paraphernalia, uh, from the uh, cathedral itself. That's and going to make in, Josh sad. <laughs> and putting in a triton instead. That's uh, a pretty serious change for the ca for the campus, wouldn't it? Uh, yes. There would probably be protests for that, wouldn't there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Kaimana don't uh, give a shit. I can tell you that much. It's being changed out for, um, what's it called? Um, for a trident, for a uh, Poseidon's trident. The last person that preached under the previous thing set a bunch of students on fire. Yeah. We had that conversation. He already had that conversation with Hans. He said he's going to do his best not to set students on fire. He's a water based he faith anyway, so. And waterboard yeah. them. No one said he couldn't waterboard them or just hit them with not lightning. Look, he's not that much of an asshole. Hey, you don't know. Misbehaving students. You gotta discipline them I somehow. made him. I know more than you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know more than you. <laughs> um, yes, you do find Kaimana. Uh, he seems to be uh, doing just that. He's working on, like, Move, um, he's not removing all of the, um, paler paraphernalia. For example, um, 
some of the stuff here like has polar uh, etched into stone. Literally the stones of the cathedral. I see it. So, I'm gonna hydrate. Um, but he is like trying to make this place a little bit more homey, adding a little bit, like adding his own uh, stuff to the cathedral. It's stuff. it's it's good. It's good because Callus is gonna come in later and stone shape all the Paylor symbols to tridents. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she's told not to, she she will listen to her father. Oh God damn it, Pete! I'm gonna tell you right now, she will be told not to. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, but yeah, um, some of the artifacts. Um, what do you guys do? Um, is. Can we actually see Kaimana right now, or is he kind of in the back? Oh, um, no, he's not in the back. He's literally helping a few, it looks like, it seems, uh, other uh, Poseidon students assist. And it's not just Poseidon students, it's also, like, uh, students of other faiths as well. Poseidon yeah, students. he's pretty hands-on. Um, Poseidon students. Clerics and paladins who uh, follow Poseidon and other... Tempest you know, clerics. Classes. Yeah. Other Tempest clerics. Other, you know. The only person uh, not here is probably Drake. <laughs> Did you forget about Drake? <laughs> oh, thank you, living person, for hopping in on the hydration train. I'm just going to fucking chug this entire water bottle. Good. Hydrate. Uh, anyway, what do you guys do? Um, is he talking to anyone, or can we just kind of walk up to him and like like wave you him? Absolutely, him? you could absolutely just walk up to him. Yeah, wait, is it Bishop Kaimana, or yes. what was his name again? Bishop. He is a bishop. Uh. Is it morning still, or is it like afternoon? Like what time of day it is? Is it? About afternoon. It's almost afternoon. twelve. About, about to be lunchtime. Okay, so it's still morning then. Um, uh, good morning, Bishop Kaimana. Like I try and kind of wave him, like get his attention. He ignores you completely. Yeah, apparently. Sorry, I'm yawning, and I didn't want to speak while yawning. <laughs> Oh, that's not boring. Okay. I get it. I get it. I'm tired. <laughs> Fuck you. Darius, it's I mean, not it would be a character, night. wouldn't it? Damn it. <laughs> anyway. Well, I'll, I'll have someone else talk because apparently I'm boring and just not worth it. Okay? I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Hello there. How can I help you? And he snoozed. Who? Sorry, I, I had to... I no, living character. person, that's quite all right. I'm watered out. Um, oh, good morning, uh, Bishop Kaimana. Um, I, was wondering, I was wondering if you had a few messages to talk to us about uh, some... Um, work opportunities that you might know about. Sure. What kind of work opportunities are you looking for? Um, we were... So it's somewhat twofold. We were so interested a little bit about artif lost artifacts and like archaeological sites and, and that side. And since we are kind of close to the docks, we were kind of like my group and I, we were kind of speaking about seeing if we can uh, find work on like around the docks or maybe even on some of the ships um, nearby. And I, we were wondering, since you are a Tempest cleric, you, you do deal with seafaring uh, folk as it were, you might know of opportunities 
uh, as such. Looking to do some dark working. Strange for an adventure. Maybe mercenary work? Yeah, like if, if there is any crew that's looking for some extra security on the dig site, maybe, or maybe there's a crew going out to a on a treasure hunt perhaps or something like that just something that we if there's any opportunity for us to kind of get familiar with i guess again this we're beginner adventurers this is some of the stuff that maybe we might go down the line of in the future so i will, we were wondering if you might know of such opportunities that are available I believe I sh I'm only here recently, um, as I uh, I wasn't in Veilstone uh, uh, after the last week um, until last week when um, your one of your professors uh, well you were you know um, so I haven't gotten a chance to fully familiarize myself with the uh, members of the Salem community. They have, um, I have at least had a few dealings uh, with some of them though. Um, there was an, hmm, you're looking for something specific though, oh. like people to do, to do an exploration of some kind. I don't think I can, help you with finding a, a expedition like that, I can at least point you to some crew. Okay. That that would be a good start. So if you wouldn't mind like pointing us in the in that direction, we can probably take it from there. Um, if you go down to the docks, um, there is a Matthew Miller who should be able to assist you. He is also um, an Aarakocra, a, uh, a toucan. A toucan <laughs> Aarakocra. And a male that you didn't name him Sam. I'm disappointed. Does, no, he, uh, does, no, he, not does he not navigate with a compass? He just follows his nose. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, there I'll is see, uh, Matthew. <laughs> there's a Matthew Millet and his son Mark Millet. Um, both of them um, voyaged together. Um, there was also a uh, Bardent, uh, Bardent Wiseman. Uh, he is a human captain. Um, he seems to be dealing with. Um, she seems to be dealing in recruiting uh, for a company known as the Feather and Sword. Um, they are actually pretty prominent in um, taking in a lot of different requests and working as almost a trading company at this point. Um, um, and then, hmm. I believe I've met one other. Uh, Josh, you are, I cannot remember his last name. Um, it's something in, it's something very weird sounding, uh, maybe from a different, like, um, from a different, uh, country or some sort. Um, but he is a, um, but he himself is a dragonborn. And he is a blue dragonborn who works down at the dockyards. Um, he mostly manages um, some of the uh, shipments that come in and takes care of any sort of and take care of disputes between other capital. Um, so if you're looking for crew, if you're looking for you know maybe a paid internship with Feather and Quill, or if you're looking for um, any discussion on the uh, port itself, those are the three people I would suggest doing. So what you can what can you tell me about 
What was it Bart Barton Matt uh, Wiseman? Barton Barton Wise. Uh, a bit of a crass little fellow. Uh, he says that he you know has a bit of a mouth on him, but he's you know at least professional to a point. Um, almost talks like a pirate, honestly. Uh, he um is recruiting currently for uh the Fed and Quill, and he is a humanoid with uh light brown hair and uh sort of darker skin. Um, he doesn't have any hair; he's completely bald. Um, Wait, he also you said he has light brown hair. Sorry, my brain was not working. I was looking at two different character sheet character descriptions and my brain just exploded. No. Okay. Brown man, no hair. Uh well, little bits of hair, but it's just stubble. Um, if there is any hair at all. And he's got a scar on his left eye, uh, going all the way down to his chin. Speaks like a pirate. Who would have thunk it? And um, the Millet family, um, the the Aarakocras, they were looking for people to bring onto their crew for either for some time or permanently? Um, really, I mentioned them because they're a nice little uh, family. Um, they've, you know, gone through a lot of hardship um, in the past few years, and um, they do make good sailors. So if you're um, if you're in the need of crew and people who know how to sail a ship, they are definitely a group of people to go to. They've got a small uh, crew of their own. Oh, good people we can hire. Or they can hire us, but yes. Well, I mean, if we want them to go where we want to go. We can we can speak to them and see what what they're doing and if it's right for us. Um, and this this dragonborn uh, Joshua, um, is he is he by the docks or uh, is there any other place that he frequents that maybe we can speak to him? Um, he is usually by the docks as well. Um, all three of them you'll find at the docks. Um. Joshua Millet, um, Joshua, eh, Joshua Millet, Joshua, Joshua. no, his name's not Joshua Millet, that was, keep slipping is, up. Is, is he the Doc Master? Is he, is he the the doc? Yes, he's the Doc Master, so if you need more information on other characters within the Doc, you go to him. Okay. So at least we have some, some names that we can... Some people we can speak to. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you can think of? Like, I, I know these three people, but do you know if there's any groups that are going out searching for treasure or some uh, dig sites, perhaps? Like I said, I haven't been here for very long, so I haven't. I don't have that much information. Okay. I can only tell you of... Uh, the few people I've met at the docks themselves, and those are the three that come to mind uh, in the way of friendly face. Friend, we each. Yeah. Um, Mofan, Hans, do you guys have any questions or do you have anything? Well, um, so they're looking to hire, but we're looking to go somewhere we need to go how are we going to deal with that when the time comes because if we're on the ship and we're doing their work I mean how are we going to influence these guys to uh, sort well, of do what we want to do the thing that we're trying to find might or do might be what they're trying to do as well so that's that's what we're trying to figure out if they are I mean, so the best thing to do is to talk to this captain then yeah that's yeah we're going to have to talk to them and see which one's I mean, 
like we kind of kind of like thank the bishop and like kind of move away from so he doesn't hear what else we're talking about but yeah yeah. uh, good idea yeah but with with barden he might be who we're trying to find because the feather and sword are the people that are working with Navarra's and captain featherbeard so that's the high better chance of getting to that uh archaeological site that they're trying to dig up And I'd like to see it too, if it's true what everybody's saying about Captain Featherbeard, because he was actually really nice to me when I first came here. Yeah, he he might be nice, but he didn't but know you. Just, yeah, but he could also just be, I, I don't know the term is correct, but honorable pirate. Maybe, you know, maybe he just does things as he's paid to do and then leaves everything else out of it. Exactly. Like he, he might be paid to do these, uh, find these sites for Navarra's, but he doesn't probably doesn't question it. I mean, he's probably paid enough that he doesn't, he doesn't have to. So you never know. But again, Wiseman might be a key to getting to this, getting to Navarra's. But we'll see. Sounds like a plan. What do you think, yeah. Hunt? Um, I agree with Juan. Or <laughs> Jin. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so I guess for now, let's meet up with the others and with Del. Maybe she has something further. But I mean, at least we have three names that we can search out in the docs that maybe that can help us uh, with this. Um, you other guys said you were going to Callus, or were you going to, you, you said you were going to Callus, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. by the way, on the way walking there, like, Riley's just been, like, kind of, like, looking off as in thought. Uh, before they get to the room, she just kind of, like, turns around and goes, by the way, with our whole, you know, getting on a boat thing, do you think Fig knows how to sail? Um, well... Can I do, like, a history check to think about if Fawns would know anything about sailing? You can go oh, no. right ahead. And Fig in general. No, oh, no, Fig specifically. Dirty 20? Dirty 20? Fawns? No. <laughs> I mean, they can. They can absolutely sail. And there are pirates notorious. Um, there are, uh... Sater pirates notorious um, for you know their sailing prowess. Also Fig, for being hopping mad, and for being hopping mad. Yes, indeed. Fig specifically? No. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, you could always just text her and ask, but. Well, yeah, but I was thinking, you know, since we're trying to deal with all these. Technically, they're pirates, right? I mean... Yes, I believe so. Fire, I mean... I bet Fig would be up to it if, you know, crimes. Well, I mean, we are I technically mean... stealing a cursed artifact from pirates. Or I mean, trying to, we... or busting them. We're busting as a crime. from the Caribbean, we don't have anything to worry about. That, we steal a boat. I mean, all else fails, we could... One does not could... simply steal a boat. <laughs> yes, yeah, one does not simply steal a boat. You, if you don't know how to sail that boat, you'll be dead in a week. Well, maybe less. Le- less That's of that fact, and more of where the hell do you plan on anchoring a stolen ship? I mean, if you know how to, if you can learn how to sail the ship by then, anchor anything. We can just keep. Yeah, going. but if the harbor is close to the school, and you plan on docking the thing at the school, then someone's going to come to the school and be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> That's an art. Will have its own dock. Wreck the ship and leave no evidence. Come on, be a pirate. You have any what? idea how expensive what? ships are? It's still not our problem. We're becoming. Pi- we're stealing the ship. What's your alignment again, by the way? I'm <laughs> questioning that every day. This, this is starting to sound very chaotic, evil. 
I stole the ship so I could burn the ship. I am I am neutral. Well, no, I Riley's Riley's thought process is okay. So we need a boat and to do all this stupid political stuff, and we can't just go up to the guy and punch him in the face and tell him. What political stuff are you talking about? That's the literal definition of being chaotic. We can you know go. If you're new, if you're being neutral, you're more of like hmm. So we have to get a ship, but we don't really know how to do that. Okay, it means nothing. It's words. What, what do you? You literally just, just threatened to do destruction of property on a mass scale. I and think, this is coming I, from the person who shot someone. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you have a small point there. I'm saying, look, we, we just point. need the boat. So we just get the boat. Get the boat. Just, just, just get the boat. But, okay. Cool. I, have I have an intelligence of eight. My plans are straight lines. A to B. No, 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 no. So just because you have a low intelligence score doesn't mean your plans are reckless and idiotic. That would be if you had a low intelligence and low wisdom. Uh, I do also have low wisdom. Checks out. Uh... That IRL or in-game or both? I don't know. A little bit of both. I think it's column A and column B. It's just yes. I'm going to assume column A and column B. <laughs> Well, I'm not here listening to this anyway, so okay, go on. Riley's proposing the kind, the the slightly easier option to get a boat. Is steal a boat and That's then... slightly easy. Didn't That's... you just get on the sheriff's good side? If we tell him beforehand, no. It's like, can you, you please want... keep? <laughs> hey, sheriff! I plan on robbing the bank. Don't arrest me. Look, if you want to go steal a boat, I will absolutely make an encounter for you to steal a boat. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> that's why I'm trying to like, you know, like steer. It's like, do we know anybody that could sail? <laughs> the point of you guys doing all this stuff is to find people. You're, you're, you're looking for three things. You're looking for a captain, you're looking for a crew, and you're looking for a ship. Just like in um, Callie's episode today. <laughs> no captain, no ship, no crew, no problem. <laughs> no hope. Huge, huge problem. Can't actually get on the sea without those. We find things. somebody. We find somebody who knows how to sail. There's the captain. We steal the ship. We steal the ship. There's the ship. We freaking learn how to do it ourselves. No. And then that's the crew. Yeah. Work smarter, find... not harder. And then we can find the cursed coins and become immortal skeleton people. No. Indeed. <laughs> Look, we'll bring Hazel along so both of you can be immortal skeleton people together. I don't want to be a skeleton <laughs> person. How did we get on the subject there she of went. skeleton why people? Did you, why did you post oh, no, that's me. Furby made out of roast beef? What? Okay, back <laughs> to the back to the plot. <laughs> on that yes, note. indeed, back to the plot. Um, so, you guys were <laughs> Riley proposed like literally stealing a boat. It's an option. I'm uh absolute bottom of the barrel option. I, I'm not really wanting to add petty theft or grand theft auto boats. Grand theft boto. <laughs> grand, grand theft. theft. Grand, theft. <laughs> grand theft nautical. Damn. <laughs> I'm not, not really out. looking to get on Officer <laughs> Venris's bad side. I just got on a decent side with her. I'm pretty sure you're already on her worst side. Um, no. Well, I'm That's the star. you. Actually, I think we actually improved our rapport with her just ever so slightly. <laughs> So I'm not really looking to ruin that, you know what I mean? Yes, but everything get in the way of a simple plan, yes. Simple, yes, simple, hmm. <laughs> anyway, I walk right into Professor Callus's office. Do <laughs> I have to make a deck save? Yes, of course you do. You, why did you even ask? Just why checking. Did she... Wait, why did she have to make a deck save? You also have to make a deck save. 21. I dodge those plants like I'm a 
like I'm the fucking fruit ninja. Yeah, no, there is a plant at the very front of the room. That, oh, no. uh, what'd you get? Okay, uh, Riley. Um, so Lyriel steps into the room first, completely fine. Uh, Zog, are you with them? Just to make sure. Mm hmm. He came with us. Anthony. Mm, Anthony. I mean, yes. Are you with them? Okay. I mean, I was mm. talking about Riley exclaiming, let's just steal the ship. So, yes, I'm assuming I'm we with them when they're... We were talking about that out of character. Yeah, just making sure. <laughs> just making sure. You're also making a deck save. You get advantage, though. I'm making it... Wait, why am I making a deck we're save? What it. I miss? We're wa Oh, my God. Pay attention! We're walking I am in... paying attention. I didn't hear it. Are you? We're walking into Callus's office full of plants. Oh. Oh, then yes, I do make well, this check with advantage. Her, sorry, her classroom, her office, quote unquote, is in the green room where she sleeps. Let me just make sure of this. There you go. <laughs> oh no, you're fine then. You're fine then. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I know exactly why I'm making the deck save now. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um. So yeah, no, Lyriel passes by completely fine. Riley enters the room. Um. For a moment, she feels like saliva pour down on her right shoulder. She looks up and then ends up in the mouth of a giant Venus flytrap. Um, no, I don't think she would have something so <laughs> dangerous to students. If anything, she just got entangled in a lot of vines. It's not actually that dangerous and makes for a good pet. <laughs> Three oh, more. Interesting. It doesn't actually... As it does not kill, it cannot, it's not a man-eating Venus flytrap. Uh, it, however, is very good at trapping people in its mouth. <laughs> Riley just he, he, just got Ad, he just got Adam's family. Yep. You can't see it, but Riley... Are you sure kinda... it's not a, like, Little Shop of Horrors, more like? <laughs> you, you if can't... it was Little Shop of Horrors, there would have been a musical number before Dan's it Dan's trying to say something. <laughs> you can't see it, but, um... Because you can only see like her feet probably sticking out of the damn thing, but you, you Riley just kind of like. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the giant mouth of a huge Venus flytrap. Oh look, Seymour got a snack. <laughs> oh, oh by, and, and by the way, there was trap. a musical number. She did play the flute. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who is the prettiest Venus flytrap? Who's the good boy? I, I don't know what the sound is. It's the scratches. The <laughs> okay, and then she just pushes. What? Right, right. I don't know about the soundproofing of this plant, but Riley will just like say out loud, "It's like okay, this plant has two seconds." She's already petting it to make it release. Okay. Uh, who's petting it? Alice. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it, it drops, uh, her immediately. No, she just, she just, starts she just nuzzling into you. She, it, she just <laughs> emerges from the ceiling out of the vines. <laughs> <laughs> you just come down from the ceiling upside down. Yes, exactly. My thought process. Petting your giant Venus flytrap and just... <laughs> she spits out the student. Uh, which is Riley. Ooh, you are now... That's a new one. Uh, you don't look like Riley, the casting type. You are now completely covered in plant goo. Um, you can... Um, and as you are, uh, some bugs begin to fly near you, including bees. I cast Prestidigitation. <laughs> okay. That's Lyriel, by the way. Riley gets angrier and the air around her... The temperature drops oh so slightly. No, I press the digitation to you, you're fine. Either <laughs> Ooh, frosty. I like it. But uh if you're going to do that, you're gonna have to get out because my plants need tropical environment. FYI. And then she floats uh, towards her desk. Oh, watch out for the pond in the middle of the room. Flash. <laughs> Zog, did you bring me any fish for it? Did you bring me something new? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you bring me a koi? Can I have a koi? Zog. Uh, Zog. Uh, you didn't bring me a fish, did you? Uh-oh. 
fish. Hell yeah. Need more. What fish do you bring, <laughs> What? Where did you procure this fish from? Maybe. Is it alive? <laughs> uh, let me see. Random fish. <laughs> Random fish. <laughs> D hundred on fish. <laughs> I will D100. roll a D one hundred on fish. No, I, I I have I have one second, one second. Um happens if I type random fish. I, I was did going... just literally type <laughs> random fish generator and it exists. Random and fish um... <laughs> I am concerned why there is a need for a random fish generator. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Don't worry about uh, it. Give me one sec. I just want to also look up this. plenty of fish. I I, I got halibut. <laughs> you got a one foot halibut. Oh, all right. <laughs> I I pulled up rainbow trout. On <laughs> Whichever one's smaller. I don't think this pond. I don't think these classrooms are that big. Are they? Like, are they? They're normal? pretty big. They have to. Are they? They're, they're... Are they like tiered university style? They're yeah, they're like the they're like the classrooms with a bunch of uh, you know desks in the um like not desks like what are they called those columns that you have in the back uh, like the not columns um I'm explaining these wrong like the rows of seats rather than just having uh you know desk chairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, like, like you'd see in like an auditorium. Or yeah, so it's tiered. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. So, it's so a your pond room. would be in like the center, down where she would probably be the one like giving the lectures or whatever, as if Cal was yep. lectures. <laughs> Callus's teaching style is uh, very robust. She immediately casts. Wait, did you just like pull the fish fish out, or is it in a bag? What you got? I mean, it's a fish in a bag. Why would I have just a regular fish sitting in? On my purse. Look, I don't look, Zog, I don't of question coat. what you keep in your coat. I don't want to know what you keep in your coat. What you have in your coat is Zog's business, not mine. There's some mansion with like a fully stocked fish bonded All in right. and his coat. Undo the undo the bag for me. Yeah, it, it, I I've already dumped the bag the fish into the We're not pond. near the pond. She was just gonna shape water it over to the pond. Oh. Okay, then yeah, it's open. Okay, fishies, it's, it's play nice. One of you gets to be Papa's snack later. <laughs> that is dark. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, don't you remember from the other campaign when Callus um sort of scried in on her father? He was in the he was in the his private garden, which has a pond filled with fish that he will occasionally just. Pull one out and eat it. Yeah. So yeah, she's keeping that tradition alive. How do you have scry? Callus has scry. Why? That doesn't make any sense. It's a cleric spell. Think... No, it's not. It's a wizard spell. No, it's not. I fucking casted it. I had to talk to Anthony to get a fucking glass ball because it was an un. Oh no, a silver mirror, wasn't it, Anthony? Yeah. Oh, you're right. I didn't know wizards can cast. I mean, uh, clerics can cast right. Wizard, it, it's basically every spell casting class can cast right. I don't know why I tricked myself into believing that that was only a wizard thing. Oh, well. usually have... wizards do it. Yeah, you, yeah. You I, have... I, I, when I think scry, I think divination wizard. Yeah, you've got sort of a weird wizard superiority complex going on over there. Ooh. I mean, that we are superior, so. Uh -huh. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Yeah, it's the a, apex it, of magic. It was the, it was the end of the day, and it was my only fifth level spell slot, so I just casted scrying. So yeah, unless I want to do some random celestial summoning or planar binding, but no thanks. Anyway, alright, Kay, what's up? How can I help you? you? Just come to chill. Got questions? What you need? What can I do for you? Homies. <laughs> <laughs> Homie? Oh no. I just I just like Riley looks over at uh, 
uh, Lyrio. Okay. Um, actually, we could use your help. Um, well, your... I, I don't want this to sound wrong, but we kind of need your connections with your whole Tempest cleric part, you know? We, we... How should I put this? Riley, how would... No, actually. Professor Zog, how would you put what... Ri Ri Riley just picked up. We need a boat, a captain, and a crew to do pirate stuff, possibly. Ooh. Pirate stuff. I like that. Um... <laughs> God damn you, gremlin. <laughs> Shut up. What's on your motorcycle? Why is there a gremlin? <laughs> Look, you know what you were doing when you added me to the fucking campaign. You have no one to blame oh. but yourself. No, I don't. No, I didn't. I never imagined. Yeah, yeah. What? You thought I would mature as I got older? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I just, I'm just more bored. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Why do you think I turned my classroom into a jungle? <laughs> to watch students I suffer. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting it. <clears throat> um, well, I mean, it's kind of good that you came to me. I mean, you probably could have went and talked to Papa, but uh, I mean, my father, but he only just got here, so he doesn't really have many connections right now. I'm sort of the one that has been helming the whole Tempest Cleric thing while on campus since I've been here longer. There isn't that many of my order here. <laughs> Actually, thinking of that, I wonder where Drake is. <laughs> Speaking of my order, Drake is somewhere in the world. Drake is looking around nervously for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna have to see where he is later. I haven't gotten to catch up with him today. <laughs> anyway. Um, Darius, what connections would Callus have? Um, connection-wise, Callus would have connections to the um, same people that, uh, what's it called, that uh, Kaimana would. Um, however, he, she would also know uh, that the Feather and Sword Company, um, they're not, like, super up-and-coming. They've been around for, like, a few years now. Um, she would have the history on them, at least, of, like, how um, they started off as, like, cutthroat pirates in the um, Badlands, but after some time, uh, they became, um, after, you know, getting to the Free Marches, um, the rule in the Free Marches is, uh, by the way, that anyone seeking asylum within the Free Marches are forgiven of all past crimes. You can make a new life for yourself here, um, as long as you do not continue your crimes while you are here. If you start anything, you will be persecuted to the very ends of the law. Um, but if you're willing to, you know, forego your past crimes, you can even be a pirate and keep all your loot and come here and, you know, live a successful and happy life. That is, a, that is a entirely a thing you can do. Um, um, which the Feathering uh, Sword have done. Um, initially, they were just pirates on the uh, seas um, until then. Um, and they've started building themselves a little trade company with the money that they've worked from other people, as well as um, building themselves a sort of little like a, a small fleet of ships that go out at different times uh helming the operation is um captain featherbeard but he does have uh, a few backers and partners who supply the financial so uh as well not, as he's not supposed to be doing naughty boy things then no. not at all. He's supposed yeah. to be a good boy. Yeah, and she boops Lyriel's nose. 
When she says, good boy. <laughs> Why? Do you know something? Hmm? Uh, Professor Zog, what... Do... Can we... Like, tell it her everything? Or is that sort of a under-the-hat thing? There's no use keeping a secret from her. She'll find out. Oh, that's... Or she'll pester, you. She'll pester you until you tell her. Um, I suppose... That is callous. That's one way of obtaining mm. information. So, I mean, that kind of uh, information gathering could always be useful to keep in mind? Question mark? I have my ways. I mean... <laughs> Hopefully you never have to find out. Right, Zad? What? What? You cut, you cut out there for a second. All I heard was right, Zog, as you were talking about uh, how that's an effective way of getting information. And then you just cut out for me. It was like... Callus said, yes, it is pretty effective. And hopefully you'll never have to find out how she does it. Oh. Right, Zog? <laughs> yes. Bother, <Good> <laughs> bother, 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 bother. Well... It poked every single day for a year. Oh no! She is also very good at drip torture. You ever heard of that? You drip torture your friends? No. Is that what I'm hearing? Not her friends. Anyone she needs information out of that's not on friendly terms with her. And she leaves the yeah. room dark too. So you never know when the next one's coming. For those who don't know what drip torture is, it's when you're strapped down to a table, and then there's... Uh, it's Chinese water torture. Yeah. Basically. Basically, and then it's usually like a straw or just something that constantly flows water, but it's turned down to such a degree that it just drips. Drip, drip, drip. Constantly. Onto your forehead or your face. It doesn't you stop. Leave it long enough. Okay, we need to get the torture boner out of here. This is getting uncomfortable. No. Yeah. I just I just watched a movie with that in it. That's why it came to mind. That's all. Also, um, that's the kind of annoyance Callus would totally deal in. Great torture. Okay, I'm changing your alignment. <laughs> Just gotta write that down my notes. <laughs> Alright, so we modify it to poking torture. She just puts you in a chair, ties you down, and then just pokes you in the forehead until you tell her what she wants to know. <laughs> Bonk. That's obnoxious as fuck. Bark. Poke. 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 Did she say poke while she pokes them? You're goddamn right she does. Oh god. And when her finger gets tired, she just uses one of her vines. Look, she's Callus immortal. Is a... She's immortal. Callus... Her... Phrasing! Callus is truly a menace to society. Incredibly. <laughs> and she's immortal. So. <laughs> Perpetual menace to society. I love my girl. But yeah. What, you gonna go hang out with some pirates? You know, the pirates doing naughty things? Is the pirate doing naughty things? Are we gonna turn him into the cops? We don't know. We haven't gotten that far. We still need the boat. Hmm. She's probably basically going to reiterate most. Well, wouldn't Callus know a couple of different avenues since she's been here longer? She would indeed. Um, but the best contact she would actually know is one that um, Pluto should have known, but isn't always on the up and up with. Um, there is an enterprising. Um, you would know that there is an enterprising uh, archaeologist who is looking specifically for a crew to go um, check in on the uh, shipwrecks from um, from the era of the Century of War. So that is getting him as a backer could be helpful. That is and could give a reason to gather a crew. That is actually absolutely perfect, because we're looking for an artifact, or trying to get there before, or get there before and survey before Featherbeard does. But, um, th thank you so much, that's very helpful. 
Wait, why do you sound surprised that it was helpful? That's that's not very nice. Um No, I I absolutely meant every word, I promise. Yeah, whatever. Zog, you bring me a fish back from the ocean? Want a big, uh, big fish? If I don't, I know what's going to happen, so I will try. <laughs> yes, you do. So it would behoove you to bring me a fish back from the ocean. I mean, yeah, I could just dive in and go, like, get one myself, but I've got so much fucking work to do, it's not even funny. Like... Man, I just wish I was a teaching assistant like you, because goddamn, this shit's boring. <laughs> okay, um, actually, we need to go speak to a... Well, I need... I guess you guys could go to... The uh, vice president's office, and I'll meet up with you. Um, there, I just need vice to... Vice president, yes. Vice Principal, shut up. <laughs> Get down, wow, Mr. You're President. Gonna go talk I didn't realize you were going to go talk to the Vice President. Get down, Mr. I didn't President. Even have him I didn't even have him in the session. Shut up. That's not a matter Darius, <laughs> enough. <laughs> Joke was done and over with. Anyway, I need to go speak to a bard nearby. Um, where were you guys planning to go after the vice principal's office? Just gonna hang out there for a bit? Are you talking to Bueller? Riley and Zog? Is this is Riley and Zog she's talking to. Uh, yeah, sure, hang out a bit, yeah. The Riley's just kind of, like, thinking about some other things, and she's still, like, cooling, well, not cooling off, but... It's just kind of like still angry about the plant thing a little bit. Next time, get a better dex check. <laughs> Next. Time, Next. Like, fire to the whole room. Next time, be aware. Aw, well, if you do <laughs> that, you. you will regret it. FYI. I mean, you don't have fire to the least. You have ice to the least. Yeah, anyway, were you thinking with Jethro brain for a minute? No. Where are you mm. going to get fire? Oh, we're in the school. There's a bunch of electrical things that could just malfunction. <laughs> sure. I'm anyway. not sure if you know how electricals work. Also, also possibly something in Zog's room. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's more likely, <laughs> yes. Um, that is well, way more likely. If you don't mind, if you do end up going somewhere, would you just mind texting me and telling... Uh, Professor Zog, would you mind texting me and telling me where you're headed? Uh, I am asking you because Riley doesn't really like to use her phone. I mean, I didn't say I was going anywhere. I figured you would go with Riley to tell them what Callus said about the archaeological dig. Oh, survey. yeah, so we could use that as the guys. Yes, that makes it's sense. The, I mean, it's the most direct path. They're looking for artifacts and shipwrecks. What the hell? How, so perfect! <laughs> but I need to go see a bard about a song and I didn't think either one of you wanted to subject yourself to that again. So if you guys end up going anywhere after the vice principal's office just text me and let me know. If I don't get a text I'm just going to wander off elsewhere. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alright, well, I got class in like ten minutes, so I'm gonna go take a nap. Uh see ya. back into the vines. She... No, yeah, she just she puts her arms out and the vines come down and they just encircle around her. Like poison ivy from Batman Hell and yeah. Robin. No, those were oh, you those were men in, there by a those hair. were men in gorilla suits, weren't they? They were the ones during the ball that brought her down. Oh, yeah, her. yeah, it was, yeah. But this is raising her upwards, so... And it and it forms around her almost like a hammock. <laughs> it's also an Arkham Asylum. They did that. I never played the Arkham Asylum. No, 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 that's a, that's a, that's a movie. That's an animated By movie. By the way, when uh, 
Riley walks out, um, she, when she passes, like, the Venus flytrap, she kind of just says, even though it doesn't have eyes, she does, like, the, the eye point that <laughs> I'm watching. It sort of looks at you and watches you as you leave. <laughs> it growls at you. <laughs> be funny as hell, though, if it did the same thing. With its eyes. Uh, <laughs> as yeah. you're, like... Yeah, as you're, like, walking by, it's sort of, like, <laughs> it has, like, saliva drooling from its mouth and sort of does the same thing. Riley, add an enemy to your character you. sheet. <laughs> Seymour the <laughs> Venus Flytrap. Add a new arch nemesis to your sheet. <laughs> your, graduated, <laughs> your graduation gift from Callus is going to be a baby Venus Flytrap. <laughs> What's the name of the plant from Little Shop of Horrors? Seymour. Seymour. No, that was the name no, of the guy. Wasn't... Yeah, that was the name of the guy. Yeah, it was the Audrey too. Audrey. Audrey. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I wanted to name it. it I wanted to name it after Rick Moranis. Boom. So. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I guess do them first, and then I'll go talk to a bard. Darius. Oh. Shit, what was his name again? The, the Canary? Canary? The Canary. So can't stand. The Bard Teacher? Bard. Um, can't hear him. Nope. No, that's because I wrote it down. <laughs> Shuffles through notes. Furiously. Shuffles through notes furiously, correct. Oh no! Where did I put it? Why isn't it on this page? Oh, because it's on the. No, where is it? The toucan was the. No, the. Mi um, Matthew Millet and Mark Millet are both the sailors. Uh huh. And then. Oh, wait, I'm a spell. The other air conqueror. Where did I write it down? Oh, no. I'm big dumb. You threw Sorry, it I had to borrow the brain cell to dual voice Callus and Lyriel. Damn it. Give me back the brain cell. <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, it's right here. Uh, his name is Hilith. How do you spell that? H-I-L-L-E-F. Hilith. That is not how I would have pronounced that, but okay. Hilith. Hilith. He left me. He left me on red. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Oh, no. So you guys can go meet up at the vice principal's office, and I'll get there eventually. Maybe. If nobody texts me to tell me we're going somewhere, I'm just gonna... Yeah. You know where I'm going. Okay. Uh, uh, right there. uh, Riley wants to stop by her room real quick to see if Fig's there. <laughs> uh, Fig is there. <laughs> she is. You can hear... You can assume Fig is there by the discordant sounds of drums beating. I love Fig. I, I, I like, lean my head in and just, like, shout. It's like, Oi! Hey! Yeah? Theoretically, how hard would it be to steal a large boat? I don't know, I've never stolen a boat. <laughs> Why, do you want to steal a boat? I mean, maybe. It's 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 a plan. It's, the low, it's one of the lower plans, but it's still a plan. <laughs> Sounds exciting! Did she know how to sail? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, we need to do, might need to do some possible, I don't know, pirate stuff? I don't remember. That sounds fun. I don't know, what would you I guys get some of the best mission. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I text I mean, Fig, do you know how to sail? I mean, when Jin died for, I don't know, I guess the first, second, I, 
Jin, Jin died. You know, that is kind of weird, and it's strange that we don't talk about this. Can we talk about that? Why is he alive again? Because that's scary. I don't know. Maybe he's the kind of one... Oh, he terrifying. I don't know. Maybe he's the kind of person where if you just, you know, put him back together, he just, you know, up he goes. But he has new legs. He Dar didn't get put back together. Darius, well, I text big. I'm not saying you have to put the exact don't. same piece back together as long as there's, you know... Let's let's not think about this too hard, okay? I text Fig asking if she knows how to sail. <laughs> it's, it's it's a fail safe. I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> Imagine she's afraid of water, though. <laughs> she's currently distracted by talking to someone. That's fine. She can answer me when she's done. Oh. Also, I send her a follow-up text. Action movie later? Question mark. Hmm. Yeah, so, I don't know, it's, uh, at least he's alive and happy-ish, I guess. I don't know. I mean, but is he alive? Or is he undead? Like one of those zombies from the horror flicks. Do we have to shoot him in the head? If he bites me, will I turn into a zombie like him? I, you, um, I, I, I don't know. He hasn't bitten anybody. Doesn't mm. look like he's bitten anybody, like, food. Just keep your hand. Just watch yourself around him. If he does bite you, just just don't come after me, okay? <laughs> I mean, if he did, just... I may not have a phobia of water, but I do have a, phobia, a real phobia of zombies. <laughs> and your team leader is a vampire. How do you feel being a necromancer? I've never seen him make a zombie. He had the. The, the, He's the, dust. The... Jack is dust. Jack is dust. Yeah, Jack is currently I, dust. Jack before that. Mm -mm. He'll get better. Jack was only ever in uh, Pluto's office. And she had no reason to go to the office. So she's never seen Jack. Jack's just there in a maid uniform, dusting his books. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, you does try and bite me, at least I know he, you know, he can be cut into two pieces. Two different pieces. Just follow the dotted line. That's... Hmm. Just follow the stitching. That's weird. That's weird, right? Well, I mean, you know, you got thunder powers, I can make a time clone, or whatever she is. Uh, you know. Yeah, but that's, that's all adventurer stuff. A guy who could just come back to life on his own. That's that's weird. That's not adventuring stuff? <laughs> you know what? You're right. <laughs> anyway, I, gotta, I think my group's meeting up at the vice principal's office for to talk about something. Do you think you can go get me some books possibly about boats? You want me to go find what? Books about boats. You want me to go to the library and find books? About Yes, please. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Sure. And today we learned Riley doesn't know how to use the internet. He likes to read. <laughs> Don't worry, Lyra likes to read too. There wasn't, there wasn't great internets up in the mountains. Man, would I fucking know that, know how God. To interwebs. Think, think of where Riley comes from is like up in the mountains, West Virginia. Look, Lyriel comes oh, from a Ontario. very untechnologically advanced area, okay? She knows all about shitty internet service. Yeah, you came from like magic. You came from like magic nature. I came from harsh nature. Still nature. Just because it's magic kept... doesn't mean it's any less dangerous. We're kept in a room. Yeah, for a good part of her life. So she was bored. <laughs> As fuck. <laughs> anyway. So then Riley off to go meet up with the rest of the, the vice principal. As you leave, you can hear the jump very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> if I was to give you, if I was to be real with you, very likely that Faye doesn't even know where the library is. And even if she did, she's going to get distracted by something. She's gonna you would put a 
You have put a squirrel on the table. She is absolutely going to get distracted by a text saying action movies later. Oh, yeah, no, she does respond to you. Goes, uh, not afraid of water. Don't know how to steer a ship. But that sounds fun. And always. I write back. Okay, just checking. And you get to pick. I'll make... I'll bring the boys and the popcorn. Heck yeah. Boys and the popcorn. Well, there's a usual group for movie time. Oh. Well, I know there's a usual group for movie time. Common area, common area movie time on the second floor. You're welcome right, to come out of your room every once in a while. Oh, you're one of those people. Huh? What? You're one of those people. I don't understand what you're... I'm actually confused. Doing a big movie night on the common room instead of, like, in an actual place. I mean, I don't know how big the living rooms are in these dorm rooms. I don't want to be piled on top of each other. Yeah. At least half more. Hey, in my college, we did a weekly movie night out in the common room. Our common room was really small. We had a kitchen. Also, they shared a wall with someone's room, so. Well, the only person we whose wall is it? Room. The only person whose wall was attached to was the RA, and the RA was out there with us watching movies, and the kitchen was attached to it too. So there'd be somebody making something, and then they'd come out and finish watching the movie. We had a big honking five foot tall hookah in our common room, but that's Holland for you. Nice. Anyway. I gotta draw okay. that later. That'll, that'll be a cute picture. The rest of you make your way to Del... Wait, which one? Um, everyone in the common room throwing For popcorn. Yeah, throwing popcorn at each other. Throw in some of the PCs. I mean, if they want to come. It's like a movie night. I just said if Not they wanted to come like out this. of their room and <laughs> hang out. Come. She sounds she sounds like she's invited us before. Probably. I've probably <laughs> sent text messages out. Well, especially if it's an action flick, she knows Mopon would probably want to come in on that. I assume. Is there um is is the do you have the movie Up Man? <laughs> Yip Man? <laughs> yes, it's actually one of uh it's actually yep, one of Hazel's man. favorite movies. Yes, I love. Oh my god, that's such a good fucking movie. FYI, I actually love it, man. <laughs> All of them. I don't even care how awful the story is. I just love fucking watching Wing Chun movies. Mm-hmm. Irony. But yeah, you can absolutely grab. Uh... Yeah, that's actually. And then uh, after the mo absolutely... and then after the movie, Mofon and Hazel can fight in the back of the common room, kick each other's ass. <laughs> well, just, crits him again. You just see both see both of us like trying out the moves that he was doing. Neither one of like, you has studied doing wing... this. This isn't even entirely possible. N neither one of you has ever studied Wing Chun, but god damn it, you're gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it seems so ridiculous that he can move his hands so that fast. Like, like imagine Mofan and Hazel like watching Karate Kid and they're like, okay, what is the point of this move? <laughs> to look cool, damn it. It's like he literally kicked Johnny in the face. Isn't that an illegal move in the tournament? <laughs> oh god, you guys would be those yeah. fucking nerds. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Chris, I'll text I'll message you about this on Facebook later. We'll we'll work out the fine details. See, this is why I want a side story with you and Hazel in it. <laughs> <laughs> God, you can hear the, you can almost hear the 80s training montage music. I can the hear background. the synth music now. I can hear the new horizon <laughs> under the burning skies. God damn. Anyone new to this stream? Fire playing. Anyway, uh, By the way, anyone new to this Jin, stream, this happens a lot. <laughs> Jin, Hans, uh, Riley, Mofon. Zog, and Mofon make their way to Dell. Um, she is currently frantic at this point. Like, she has got too much to do, and she's just, walk, like, walking around her office, like, 
she looks disheveled and tired and she's got so many things she's got like literally a poster board worth of papers to look at oh, and God, she's just Mabel from Animal Crossing <sighs> someone give this this bitch coffee <laughs> She's the no, dragonborn. She, is... <laughs> she, she doesn't need any more. She's coffee. the dragonborn, right? Or is she the Aarakocra? She's the dragonborn. She has three full empty uh, cups of coffee. She got Pluto's special brew. Someone gets a bitch a nap. <laughs> she, she been drinking Pluto's special brew. That shit'll keep you up all night. <laughs> it smells like jet engine fuel. <laughs> 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 How'd you know his secret ingredient? Have <laughs> you seen that man move when he needs to? Yes. That would explain the, the, why none of the airlines are like flying right now. Rip. Um. Anyway, um, Del kind of looks at the rest of you, annoyed. <laughs> she made what? us come here. Do you want? Who made you go? Zog, what do you want? So about that archaeological dig request. What archaeological dig request? The one that Callus just informed us of? Wasn't there a request for... Crew. It, it didn't go through the school... It's just at the Callus port. Callus knows it because she's been to the port. Ah, okay, so then we're here to set that up. You see, I was under the impression we were here to call dibs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're here to set that up. As a, I mean, we're uh, technically a, still calling job. dibs, but okay. So apparently, from Professor Callus's words, what the fuck do you want? Oh, oh. what does she want now? Oh, nothing. She just heard there was a request for an archaeological dig crew, and they were going to put the request through us, but they haven't put the time in yet, so could we just skedaddle and do that and save you the paperwork? Mm, save you the paperwork would be, would be nice, but you need a paper trail regardless for every single adventure that's taken on by all of the okay, students. So then we put a Cliff here. Notes thing down. <laughs> I mean, how complicated can we just get a piece of paper, say, request for salvage crew, and then we'll get them to sign it, and then we'll bring it back to you. Then we just felt the form from there. I have a basic requester form for adventurers. I'll go grab it and hand it to this man. Okay. Uh, you might want to then... tell Jin, Mofan, and Hans what we're doing. They're all in the room. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he... What did you guys get here? <laughs> if, uh, well, I said you were all going in together. And then Mofan immediately diverted to you. She hands you a request form. Make sure they fill this out and sign their name here. Now, is there anything else? Are, are you okay? Nap. <laughs> if you have nothing else, please get out of my office. Okay. Wumpy. Have a nice day. Uh, before they before they uh walk out, Riley will be the last to walk out and turn around. By the way, is there anybody that teaches sailing here at the school? <laughs> I, I pop my head in as well. Like, yeah, is is there anyone actually who knows who can teach us sailing? Go just just go, like a refresher course or something. Refresher course. I mean, it wouldn't necessarily hurt in case someone needed to pile to sail, but in case shit went down. Well, there's only so many people that could sail. Like the the hear... adventuring guilds do not um, offer these courses. That's not part of our curriculum or any curriculum. But have you tried the docs? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Yes. The adventuring guild doesn't support 
sailing. The adventuring university uh, doesn't support it. it doesn't okay. they don't have but, specialized classes? But they have specialized teachers right, for right, every right. class and subclass. Yes. Yes. So Relatively. what the fuck that happened to a swashbuckler? They just get fucked? Swashbucklers don't always have to be pirates. It's a fucking it's, swashbuckler. It's a fighting style, not a speciality. It's not a specialty towards... Um, it doesn't mean specifically that you have to be on the sea. You can be a swashbuckler on the land. You can be a rogue. Uh, you can be like a rogue or some sort of bandit. There are so many different types of things to do. Yeah, you could be some type of bandit. It doesn't specifically mean you need to be on the high seas. Though it does have some skills with the high seas. Also, they don't I don't special... think the school has the fucking money to, like, get a boat and teach students. That's so much insurance, by the way. <laughs> How many? The paperwork. How many? How many? It's, it's just an inflatable raft in a pool. That's an insurance oh, nightmare, oh, Anthony. You think this school has the funds to do anything like that? When they barely have the funds to hire enough teachers. The illusionist could make him feel like they're doing it. Oh my god, enough. <laughs> Virtual reality. <laughs> exactly. You don't need insurance for virtual. It. <laughs> anyway. It's all the practice, but none of the risk. Where, are you guys going down to the docks or something? In, I'm assuming we'd be piecing there afterwards, so... Could someone else text her? Because I don't have her number. I w we would have um, given it to you. Because you're our TA. Riley will finally take out her phone and just go in. What time of day is it at this I point? I'm vice principal going to... So almost two. Uh, uh, let you know. You guys have been <laughs> running around know. for a while. Keep you posted. <laughs> We'll let you know where we're going. Cool. Our class for the day? It's almost two. No. Um, Riley will break off from the group to go to find the rogues classroom. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Why? Up on the steel oh, boy. oh, to uh, steal. I'm make sure all the books are filled out. Do all the research. All the research. Okay. Uh, um, you go to where the rogue's classroom should be. Um, there is simply a note on the door, and it says, rogue's classroom, move. If you're a real rogue, you'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fucked. checks out. <laughs> Quick, find was, Scott and uh, threaten, to that's, threaten him. That's how it works. <laughs> that was my next move. I, I Scott. Find Scott and Honest... force him to take you. <laughs> I was honestly expecting a note that said gone fishing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ashley, it's in Thieves. There's some hidden message oh, in Thieves. Thieves can't. Can't. <laughs> can't read you can't read it, so it wouldn't matter to him. Is it on the door? Hold on, wait. Is it on the door? It's on the door. What should I call it? I want to see if it's like a double bluff. And I'll just like open the door and step away from the door yeah like in case they trapped it rogues you open the door there is a closet <laughs> inside it is r kelly <laughs> you have found a closet success <laughs> I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be that over obsessive. Like I check all the walls of the club. No, I go to find Scott. Okay, <laughs> give me perception. <laughs> go look for Scotty boy. Passed out in his room, <laughs> upside down. Come on. You have no fucking idea where he is. <laughs> Can I go to Mofon's room? <laughs> you check there. He's not there. Do I run into Riley as she's wandering around? Yeah. Okay. Um, Riley, Aimlessly. what are you doing on the second floor? Um, dorm I room. I was on the third. No, you Scott's guys are on the, on the second. Third floor. He's on... Oh wait. No. Every on single floor. one of you is on the oh. third floor, and Scott oh. is J is not Jen. It's Mofon's roommate. And Scotty doesn't know. I thought we—I thought the girls were on the third floor because Hazel and 
Monday are on every the floor below me. single. I said Hazel and Monday are on a different floor are below you. Uh huh. Scott, your whole team is on the same floor. Okay. And Scott is Mofan's roommate. Um, Riley, what are you doing over in the dorm area? Uh, I was trying to find Scott, and I hand her the note. Um, you need to find... Why do you need to find the rogue class? No reason. Uh, okay, and I guess you just came from Mofon's room. Yes. Um, I guess we could go look for him together. Is it very important? Sure. Okay then. Sure. Let's <laughs> go gonna... find Scott. Okay. <laughs> Give me perception. <laughs> Not Riley. Just just Leary. I'm gonna use a luck point. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nope. I got another one. <laughs> it's nope. Gucci. There you go. Gucci. That's better. Okay. That's better. I was gonna say. Uh... So you do look around for a bit longer. Um, you actually do find Scott. Um, he's currently palling around um, outside, uh, hanging out with some other upperclassmen as well. Lord. Okay, all yours. She makes that noise. <laughs> <laughs> She's still not very fond of Scott. I'll like uh, walk over and I'll tap him on the shoulder. I'm just watching from a distance. Um. Mm. What's your passive insight? My passive insight? Oh no! Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna walk. Over. A ten. <laughs> Mine's a sixteen. <laughs> I'm gonna walk I over. In wisdom, charisma, and a minus one in intelligence. All right, I'm walking Quick, over. Take a picture. <laughs> yeah, take a picture. Take a picture. It'll last longer. <laughs> if it's blurry, we got problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? As I'm walking over, I suddenly take a quick snap of the entire group just and look at it just to make sure none of them are glitched out. No one's glitched out. Okay, cool. I delete it. <laughs> And then I walk over. Okay. What was your passive insight? Um, 16. Insight 16. Yeah. Let me just make sure I got this right. Uh, and wise girl, to a degree. Um, the guy turns around to you. Oi, how's it going? Oh, uh, something you need? Who? What? Scott sounds like? I don't think so. We've talked to Scott before. He doesn't sound like that. He sounded more like the stoner type. Amen. Yeah, kind of like that. That's how... Well, he was really drunk when he talked to us, too. <laughs> just and just think out. Cheech Marin in, uh, in uh, that 70s show. <laughs> oh, wait, that's Chong. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You, can, you can also now give me an actor. If you like. Sure. Say that again. Fifteen. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, can't. I just can't. I can't. You have seen Scott at the party, and you just think, yeah, this is Scott. Nothing's weird. Nothing's weird's going on. Lyriel, this is not Scott. This is someone disguised as Scott. Probably as part of the rogue class. Huh. That's a very good disguise. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I've been working. I haven't got the voice down, though. No, you haven't. <laughs> You're close, I guess. Have you actually seen Scott? Riley's just, like, tilting her head, like, side to side. <laughs> it's like... He points at the, uh, oh, blonde-haired... Oh, there's a blonde-haired lady, <laughs> uh, who's a, who is a, uh... There's a blonde-haired fawn, uh, who's standing right next to him. Well... Hey, how's it going? What do you guys oh need? <laughs> Muriel just kind of like rolls her eyes Riley, and then just Riley points to Riley. Like, like, Riley and Muriel just like look him up and down. Go, I don't. I don't need to look him up and down. She just rolls no, her eyes just... and just 
does the little Riley. Kind of impressed. Uh, yeah, uh, I need to talk to the rogue teacher. Uh, she's right there. He points at a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rogues. <laughs> I, I look at the tree and I just kind of like look back at Scott. You look at the tree. You look at Scott. You look at the tree. You look back towards Scott, and in between Scott and the tree is now uh, a <laughs> a lizard folk lady who's just staring you down, or staring up at her. Well, staring up at you. Lyriel's now filing her nails. Uh, she has no. I, <laughs> I will approach the lizard lady. Can I help you? Uh, yes. Look, I know I'm not stealthy or anything, but I do have a situation which requires some possible... Uh... Are you interested in joining the rogue class? Uh, no, I'm kind of happy where I am, but no, I have a situation with a mission we might be on, and... You... I'm not sure how I can help you. Well, that's why I came to see about people who are more stealthy and deal with things of a taking things nature. I'll cut to the chase. I, I need to know what it would take to steal a boat. <laughs> Riley? <laughs> what? You're still on that. Saying, I will, I'm not saying it like out loud now. I'm, I'm right next to you. Oh, you actually came up with me? Okay. I, yeah. I walked up behind you as soon as I noticed that you didn't notice it wasn't Scott. <laughs> Are you still on oh. that? <laughs> she giggles. Do you want to steal a boat? Do you I think it's know like the a... problem with stealing a boat is that if you don't know how to sail it, well, you're screwed. Right. Yeah, it's another thing we're working on, but, you know, we have to do... You know, like, all the things. I'm... Well, what about what Professor Callis told us? Does that not strike your fancy? Well, I'm planning on commandeering the ship. Well, I, well, not entirely. I'm saying, you know, keep options. Uh, you're try it seems that you're trying to work harder instead of smarter. Just try to find... Why not... Try to stow away on a boat rather than steal it. Because I am seven feet tall. <laughs> and blue. Even seven feet tall people can still get up, get by. Just look at our Goliath. Is he the one disguised as Scott? There's a Goliath. Well, He's the like, tree. Goliath. <laughs> Give me a passive tree. perception real quick. Six, 16. He's the fucking tree. My perception and my Six, insight are exactly 13. the same. Actually, no. Give me active perception. Oh, okay. <laughs> 22. God damn it! <laughs> you cannot find it, I can't Goliath. Move you look around? There's no Goliath. What is she talking about? <laughs> Lirio, you literally just made the cell. They got a 21. Where is he? You. <laughs> it is the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Lirio just brings her, her two fingers up to her temple and just does a little salute. <laughs> it moves his tree moves back. as well. Yeah, <laughs> it also does a salute. She's got good <laughs> eyes, as long as she's not distracted. <laughs> Riley, Riley just kind of like you see you know it would have been funnier if it was like the light post next to the tree <laughs> like he was you a, see a hand he was a rock. appear out of nowhere and salutes he was a rock <laughs> <laughs> literally Wrong. a statue standing next literally just standing next to Riley oh, it's just, it's just uh, unmoving like in the pose of the finger. I don't know why I can't roll above a 10 right now. Yeah, at this point, yeah, it could have been. She could have been literally standing next to you and you would have I could have been standing on him. 
No, oh my god, Riley. It would have been funnier if Riley, like, bends down and tries to talk to the squirrel next to the tree. <laughs> like, yeah, I bet it's you, isn't hide. it? Size does uh, size plays a factor with hiding, but it's <laughs> you can still hide if you know how. <laughs> and that <laughs> might take I, less I, I years to do than thing. trying to steal and steal a boat. Lyriel cheats and casts alter self. <laughs> <laughs> You have alter self. Uh, it's a sorcerer ability at like first level. What? It's like a first or second level spell for sorcerers. Can you say that, can you say that again? I didn't hear all that. But you don't. You don't have that spell. Yes, I do. I just don't have it on my list right now. It was a joke. I have the spell. I assure you, because I was reading it just now. Okay. Huh? Cool. I okay. don't hear a word you're saying. Yeah, I yeah. hear jack shit. <laughs> can you not hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Yeah. Hooray! I mean, uh, I can't change my, I, I can't change my height, but I could literally turn into, like, a tiny Riley. <laughs> Yay. Become small Riley. This is what you'd look like small. if you were short. <clears throat> I could literally become anyone within my relative size. Yep. I could be a slightly taller fig. <laughs> Right, Riley just kind of like eventually she's like you know she's doing like the grabbing like the sinuses thing. She's just like, mm -hmm. listen, I'm honestly not having the best day at the moment, so I'm just trying to get. You're trying to steal a boat, a whole boat. Yes. That is well, not a very easy task. Yes and, yes and no. Where I'm just trying to keep some of our options open. And. Uh, Yes. Do you need to steal... Do you... Do you want to steal the boat? We might need to steal something else, and that may require stealing a boat. I mean, like I've mentioned, it's probably easier to find someone else to actually pilot the ship for you. If you must, you can still pilot the ship. Try your best to do so, but it won't be easy. So, uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, I lost that sentence in my head. It's easier to let someone else do it, but... If you really need to pilot a ship, you can. I've never done so, as I've never needed to. Usually I just stealth my way onto a ship and let the actual ship people do everything they need to. Why would I have to pilot a boat? Uh, Riley, now, like, just, like, all the arguments are too much, and it's just, like, circling her head, and it's like, it's like the steam's coming out of her ears. Uh, <laughs> She, she just goes, well, I guess I'll take that on into consideration. Hopefully we don't need to actually steal the damn boat. Uh, thank you, though. Uh, sorry for interrupting. And I, I look at the tree, and it's like, um, I'll go, I'll walk over to the tree, and it's like, I'll kind of, like, guess. You still have no idea that that tree is a Goliath. Okay. Um, Even though it moved? <laughs> no. No, I have my perception of Sela. It's like I'll just kind of like hang my head a little bit in the feet, and I will, I will walk away, and I'll walk to the nearest bench, and um, you like think it's not a bench. check if it's secured, and then just like pick it up and just crash it on the ground. Oh my! Ah! 
Well, I'm sure that's coming out of her next pay. Oh, what did you do that for? Who's next pay? You think it's coming out of her? It's not going out of her name. <laughs> it's suddenly it's more fun That's again. Full property. Exactly. <laughs> It'd be coming out of Riley would have to pay for it. I'll get Zog to make another one. You look at as you do that, as you do that though, you hear the window open above you and let me switch over to the page. Yeah, by the way, so that athletics check character. is to smack her upside the head. Are you are you with them? No. I wasn't. No, I didn't think you were. Oh, damn. No, Riley walked off on her own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, I was like, you really just did that in front of a teacher? Smack upside the head. Having, Riley's not having a great day. Lyriel just... So far You're about to be having a worse Del day. opens the window that's above you and goes, Did you really just fuck me? You are going to fix that today. Am I clear? Crystal. And I smash it again. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Anyway, <laughs> Lyriel just... It's already just... broken. I have... It's... It can't... It's already broken, so... It just means more work for you. Because Dell will make certain that you fix it. She's... <laughs> anyway, Lyriel's gonna... will not play with the, you. Uh, Lyriel's gonna thank the rogue teacher for her assistance. And then... Just... She she is pretty much she is actually pretty impressed by Scott's disguise. So in Infernal, she'll go nice disguise and then walk away. Thanks. Didn't she tried. She just flashes the peace sign as she's walking. Riley, after like her her anger finally released, she'll just pick up all the pieces of this bitch. <sighs> okay, <coughs> was this absolutely necessary? She she she'll just kind of like give Lyriel a look, just like one ray, like slightly angry raised eyebrow. I don't know mending, I don't think. I do know press and digitation, yeah. but I don't think that's. I mean, I I'm, I not, I think I know it, but I just don't have it together. I don't have mending. You don't have mending. Do yes, I do. And that's not, it... how, that's not how that's not how your spells work. You don't swap them out the same way that, uh, well, the sorcerers, they swap out their spells the same way that, uh, that cleric skin. So you don't have mending on your, your no, sorcerer, I don't. at least. That's if you have I... it on your druid, I think it's... I, either way, Riley would just go, no, no. I'll get have to fix it. Actually, mending is a cantrip for sorcery. Yeah, but you don't have it. If it's not on I... your spell list, you do not have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she, yeah, Riley's just like, no, no, broke it to fix it. That's how it goes. And it's like, I'm just, it's like, I'm going to go do this, and then probably go to bed. You the, could, fight soon. the fight tomorrow will be much better. Or you could probably, um, well, you could probably ask Professor Zog, actually, now that I think about it, and she whispers, we're probably going to have to worry about Scott impersonating one of us. I mean, that phone get-up was actually pretty good. Hmm. Uh, so we might have to keep an eye out for that. Maybe we should all come up with a code word to identify us as, you know, ourselves. Mm -hmm. Riley, like, oh. Now you come up with the way to try to identify yourselves. Not when the shapeshifter guy came around. He can read, can read minds. minds! You right. <laughs> That's why we have the phones. That's how we find that motherfucker. By the, by the way, Rob, Riley's just giving you, like, non-committal grunts. Like, she's, like, not even really... Mm. Mm -hmm. She hears you speaking whenever you stop talking, and whenever you finish the sentence, she just, like, grunts an affirmation. Okay, well, I'm going to go find Professor Hilliff, so... Um, have fun? And then she walks off. Is that... Um, where's everyone else going? Um, what time of the day is it? by now or probably almost five o'clock classes are going to start letting out soon um, i can move it forward to sometime where you want to go to the docks if you'd like or you could just walk off campus and go to the docks to the matter like i said you don't have to be there for all your classes 
the passing grade is just based off of how many adventures you take on. I would like a bow staff. I want to go okay. shopping. <laughs> oh, okay. Bow staff? So you mean you want a stick? You want a I want a stick. I'm just kidding. I want a stick. I want a stick. A stick. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this chain shirt. I have. I mean, you can just go to Billy's shop. He probably has. It's a general. It's like a generalist, adventuring goods shop. That's yep. True. Yep. And we know That's Billy, so Billy. You can be friendly with Billy. You still have two thousand gold that you haven't spent. So yep. We're... Yep. 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 Does he buy? Uh, I mean, I don't know if I should even hang on to this chain shirt that for some reason I have. <laughs> I don't remember when you got that either. When did he get a chain shirt? Probably part of the loot. You looted it off of one of the corpses when... The... I think the car exploded. I think that's when you looted that, wasn't it? That's... Yeah. Um... That would explain why I have it all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't here for that. That's morbid. That is pretty morbid. I mean, it slows my walking, but holy crap, uh, at least... No, 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 that's not true, no. You bought Isn't this that. from a maze? No, I remember it, you bought it, no. Oh, from a that's maze. right. You bought, bought it because you, you were concerned about your your AC, which I keep telling you, which I've been telling you. Your AC is fine. You're, you don't need armor because you're a monk. And as you get higher levels, yeah, no, it slows more it AC me down. automatically. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I saw it. It slowed me down, so I like, like, I made sure it's like not on me. All right, well, I'm gonna go pay a little visit to Billy. Mm -hmm. All right, Billy, Billy. you go to Billy's shop. What can I do for you? Hi. Um, I would like to know if you have any weapons for martial arts. Not many, but I've got a few. Nunchucks. Staff. You don't have any chucks? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Fuck you. You're awful, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I have he has priest chucks, not nunchucks. He looks at Mokon. Is he, he with you? Priest chucks. <laughs> uh, I do not know this man. Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's, a good, that's actually a good uh, one. Okay, you, that was fucking good. Okay, so you have nunchucks, you have a uh, staff. What else? We have bow staff, nunchucks. Uh, we have size. Uh, we have those. Um, damn it, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, two and I with chain. Right. That's what it's called. There it is. The brain works. <laughs> you have yeah. a chain? Yeah. Yeah. Kunai with chain. Kunai with chain. Kunai with chain. Hmm. How much yeah. is Kunai with chain? Kunai with uh -huh. chain. <laughs> the, the, the weapon you're looking for is a Kusarigama. Nerd! Or Kusai and Ye. I'm tired. It's a kunai with chain. All right, <laughs> how much is it? <laughs> Jesus. It's only thirty gold. I'll take one <sighs> of that and a staff. The bow staff. This staff, the bow staff, will cost you about sixty. That's fine. So ninety gold total. Yup. You have a deal, sir. You have now attained both a bow staff. And a kunai with chain. Um, I that on my own, right? Yep. Uh, or I, I might need to add those in because I don't think bow staff is part of the weapons list. Um, quarter staff. Yeah, neither is a quarter staff. It's not a. It's a technically not considered a quarter staff. It does two d4 of bludgeoning damage, has reach, and it's a heavy weapon. Get him a pole arm. No. Yeah, I don't even see chain here, so. Yeah, I'll add them both onto okay. your gear. So 
Sweet. Because having range would be a good thing. Yep. I mean, yeah, especially punch. since all of your punches push people away. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, and you can't yeah. punch with range like Hazel does. I mean, I can punch with a gun. <laughs> That's casting bullet, not punching with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a bullet. It packs a punch. Oh my god. Next. Where are the rest of you guys going? Um, it's kind of late to probably go to the docks at this point. I mean, the dock master might be there, but there's no guarantee that like Wiseman will be there. And more than likely, the unsavory characters come out a little bit later. So, well, we're looking. Oh, granted, we what's the name of the guy we're for getting a, a job for? You did. are looking for unsavory characters to like. What Callus would have told us his name. Isn't it You're right. Oh. She w she would have. Uh, Doctor Seymour Grays. Seymour Grays. Nope. Every day in the mirror when as you get older. <laughs> <laughs> no, not in the number. My you should try that joke on him. Here. I don't want to get hit, so. <laughs> yeah, so we're looking for Seymour Grays to do this um acquisition this uh assistance for finding a finding shipwrecks and documenting them and art and artifacts. That's what we got from Callus. And mm -hmm. Dog has the paper he needs to sign, so <laughs> Okay. So you guys are going to go find your doctor, Seymour Grays, and go get him to sign. Well, the rest of you, I'm assuming, are going to go to the docks and go talk to dock workers? Um, it might be too late to do that. Most of, most of the time, dock workers are gone by now. Isn't it like 3 mm -hmm. in the afternoon? No, it's, no, like it's five. almost 5. It's like 5, yeah. Yeah, like most of the most of the work is done like early in the morning. Well, they probably work in shifts, so there's probably someone there. I guess we can yeah, go but, tomorrow morning. But, but the recruiters the that we probably want to talk to are probably in the morning. I mean, we can go in the morning before the fight. And how many more days are there until the fight? Tomorrow. It, it's not tomorrow. Oh. It's two days. You have time. Yeah, so we can still go to the docks the next day. Yeah. You just go to the docks in the morning. Um, and then the others of you are going to go see Seymour Grays. Um, all right. So we'll start with Jim. Um, you got, um, who else is going with Jim in the morning to go to the dock? Isn't he going to dry. talk to Seymour? No, I thought you were talking to Seymour. Who's talking? Okay. Who's going where and when? Why would I we... will go with Jin. Why would we talk to multiple yeah, people when we've docks. got one guy who's actively looking for artifacts in shipwrecks? So you're gonna go talk to him instead. Is that what I'm hearing? You guys figure that out. Let's talk to Seymour. See what he needs. Because maybe he wants to do the surveys, but he doesn't have a crew. Yeah, isn't or that why he's asking crew, for people? Yeah, so we'll speak to him, let him know that there are interested parties, and see what he needs. Well, Zog's going to have to go. He's got the paperwork. That we have yeah, to it's either out. we all go, or maybe some of us goes, and then the rest will go speak to the other people at the docks. I don't know what 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 do people think. Uh... Riley's not here. Riley went back to our room to start fixing his bench. <laughs> I am actively on my way to the bard room. Still. Anyone else doing 
Anyone else going to go with Jin at, to go CC more, Grace? I have Grace? no idea what Dog will be I, doing at this point. I, I, I'm doing be in this the before the morning. Okay. So, you're going to go see the bard. We'll go to the, we'll go to the bard thing. Because now I'm getting confused. Now I'm getting confused. Um, I want to at least keep track on one of yeah. your stories and participate for yeah, So, Larry, I'll go to the bard. Riley is... is doing is fixing up is doing whatever and you you guys are going in the morning so i'll keep him yeah i don't need to worry about riley riley's going to her room Lyria, Yo. you make your way to the bard room uh Do you I make smell it inside the bard room alone <laughs> and aromatic candles <laughs> of course you do do i run into why Johnny? would you even ask yeah he's inside the classroom as well um, the teacher um, is, um, our songbird teacher is currently going over musical notes and musical theory, um, as well as, like, preparing some of the students, uh, for different kinds of, like, magic. Um, so there's a few different kinds of magic, you know? There's some healing that we can do with just our voices and the right words, the right being said, can really make all the difference. Um, hello. Can I help you, little elf lady? Are you one of mine? Um. You don't look like it. I don't know if that was an insult or not. It's not really an insult. You just don't look like one of mine, like a bark. What does the bard you... look like? Looks at the rest of the class. We're all wearing vests. <laughs> vests? Vests? That's what makes Musical. them. Suit vests. <laughs> Suit vests. Like it's all barbershop quartet. Oh, Hundo Jesus. Oh, God, no. Um, <laughs> Everyone has a mustache. A I curly mean... mustache. <laughs> I mean, I'm... Are you sure this is the Bard's College and not the 80s Star College? <laughs> um, you're, you're correct. I'm not a Bard. Uh, I mean, I, I play an instrument, but I had a question for you. There's two instruments. Hmm? Nothing. Um, I had a question for you regarding um, magical music? Go right ahead. What is your question? Anthony, can you like pull your mic away or something when you do that? That was really loud. Cal, you belch into the microphone all the time. Not during stream. Oh, cold snap. Not during stream and shut the fuck up. Anyway. Fuck, now I lost my train of thought. Bard. Magical music. I play music in your brain. Part. Really? No cursing? What did I make that? Did I ever make that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that mine? Ooh. I don't remember yes. making that. <laughs> when did I make that? Oh, oh man. <laughs> Why does that say new? Because no one's ever clicked it before. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> anyway... That'll be on a timer, because it doesn't say for the remainder of the stream, and I'll make it, like, 15, 20 minutes, whatever. Um, <laughs> anyway. So, apparently, there's this, like, song I keep hearing over and over, and now it's stuck in my head. But when I play it, um, people don't hear the same music I hear. And apparently the song itself is magic. Um, what was the school, Darius? Um, enchantment. En it and apparently, according to one of my professors, it's actually enchantment music. Hmm. Some sort of strange enchantment spell. Um... Hmm. Well, when I play it, or when I hear it, I hear a very warm and soft lullaby, but apparently when everyone else hears it, it's a discordant mess. Interesting. 
Do you mind giving me the notes? She pulls her notebook out and hands it to him. He begins to uh, try playing the melody as well, but like with Pluto, it all it just sounds wrong. He's not doing it right. You know he's not doing it right. I mean, I know he's doing it right, but at the same time, I know he's not doing it right. It's of the two minds sort of thing. Logical brain mm -hmm. and ma musical brain, I suppose. Yep. Um, you hear the tone, and it sounds too... Orderly. Not discordant enough. It's... It, it sounds discordant to you. It sounds like like the tones are either going flat or they're doing too high. It sounds wrong. It just... Is the point. I know that's what everyone hears, but it just sounds wrong to me. It's not what I hear. It's just... Ugh. I... I'm afraid to actually play it because... I've started to feel an effect from it, and I don't know what it will actually do, and I'm afraid to actually play the song in full around others. Hmm. You have some sort of... When did you first get this kind of magic? Where'd you first learn it? Do you mean when I first heard it? Sure. Well, about a week or so ago, I got a text message randomly from someone and it asked me to come to the park to play a game but when i got there nobody was there except me and my friend riley uh, and apparently a police officer who had gotten the same message but then the song started playing from my phone same lullaby i guess everyone else heard just the same discordant crazy music and then we passed out and i woke up and we had to go about figuring out some puzzles and then I learned to wild shape so that was fun mm. and then I heard it again just yesterday at the circus when I was on a date and it was just coming from the wax museum somewhere deep inside it I'd never see the source I only hear it and that time I was the only one to hear it but I had my notepad on me so I wrote down the notes but then when I tried to play it, nobody else heard the same music I did. And then when I tried to play it today for a couple of people, um, I started to feel the magical effect from it, and I stopped. And then they told me it was enchantment music. Yes. Uh, hmm. Let me try some. He begins casting Detect Magic on you. Um, to try to see what oh, me? Kind of magic is. Yes. Should I be playing um, the music? He actually casts... Uh, he, mm, yeah. He, he, he wants me to actually play the music? No, no, no. He's going to cast Detect Magic on you to see what kind of magic is coming from you. If there's oh. any sort of spell. There's... Okay. Would he not just get my druidic and sorcery magic? <laughs> he would, but he... He's looking for something else. Mm hmm. There's something else here. You have a, a magic cast onto you as well. Some sort of enchant, some sort of enthralling. I'm sorry, what? You've been enthralled. By. Not sure. I can't tell where the magic is coming from, but I do know that this magic isn't bardic. Can you sort of... Probably warlock. Warlock? Someone cat Probably a warlock. Something of high level. Someone of high level is cast an enthrall on you. Um, how do you get rid of it? Dispel magic? Hmm. Remove curse? Is it a curse? Have I been cursed? It's sort of a... It's sort of like a curse, yes. Damn it, do I have to go back to the hospital again? <laughs> I just don't understand why they would summon me somewhere to play with me and then give me music that 
enchants other people? I'm very confused as to the purpose <laughs> of <laughs> this. And she just waves her arms around. I think it's meant to drive you insane. Oh. Well. Huh. I guess I'm going to the hospital then. Um, unless you have a dispel magic. Uh, no, this is a curse. I can't dispel it. Oh, you don't have remove curse? Nope. Uh, okay. Well. Wait, actually. Do bards have Real remove bard. curse? I know they have some. Bards. Curse. No, bards don't have remove curse. Cleric, paladin, warlock, and wizard. I was just checking his spell list just to make sure, but no. He has no access to it. Oh, I guess I could just go back to Professor Gallus. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Get a it's only third. Curse. Yeah, it's only third level. Um, you know, wow, I wouldn't have ever guessed that. Um, that's weird. Uh. <sighs> okay. Oh, Why me? Actually. I'm I'm incorrect. I'm and I'm sorry for giving you such much information. It wouldn't be considered. It's not considered a normal spell or curse. The effects of this cannot be naturally removed properly without uh without. You would need to confront the person who has enthralled you. When has that ever been a rule? Or is that a special case? Because it's, it's not a it's not a mad it's not a spell. I'm looking at it again to make sure that I have it uh, properly in my mind. Yeah, I know what this I know what it is. It's not a spell. <sighs> it's a special skill of something. Okay. Well, she taps her chin. She pulls out her phone and she go scrolls down to that text that said, "Do you want to play a game?" And then she sends a message to that number and it says, Who are you? And then she just puts it back in her in her bag, rubs her temples. The second you put it back in your bag, you hear a buzz. Oh, for God's sake. Of course, as soon as I put it away, she pulls it back out. What is Friend. Friend. Um... Okay, I don't believe that for a hot minute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where are you? It then says an enemy. And enemy? An oh. enemy. So are you friend or... Another enemy? one pops in. Nobody important to you. Bull. <clears throat> Bull. I... Someone who uh, wishes your demise. Oh. Well, at least you're honest. She writes that back. I guess at least you're honest. I hope. Finally, he it writes. A who does not fit me. What? Who is the wrong question? Why? A who has a degree of identity which I cannot give. Oh, you're that thing. Okay, I guess the question is now why. Because that's very... Why what? <laughs> Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a... <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to play 20 questions now, are we? Why did you cast your weird, creepy magic on me? I cast a lot of weird, creepy magic. You'll have to be more specific. What's up with this flipping music? She had to write flipping. It hasn't been 15 minutes yet. Something fun. You have a very twisted perception of fun. I would like it gone, please. Mm, no. I think it suits you. Funny. I had a feeling you might say that. I mean, I'm going to remember this the next time I see you, so... I'm going to beat your ass. I want this music Be out of my head. You'd like to attack me for my gift? What kind of gift is this? It's in my head constantly. It only... It's weird. It doesn't sound the same well, to everyone. Like I said, it's only, um... 
you can ignore it and it will disappear from your brain. I know, but there's but a lot of quiet. There. There's a lot of quiet moments in Luriel's head. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes she's just blissing out while she's getting her head rubbed. Okay, and then the music pops back in. <laughs> it only shows up when you're when you focus on it. You can you can hear it. Okay. I guess my other question is, what's the point? Why, quote-unquote, give me this gift? Not As sure. You don't know? <laughs> it, was a, I it was a whim? A bit of, yes. Are you following me? No. How do you keep showing up wherever I am? I hear you. Or your music. I don't need to follow you. What's that supposed to mean? I know you are always. Are you a creepy voyeuristic weirdo? Does that make you scared? No, it's just kind of creepy. Creepy is a start. Of what? Is... How's your little investigation going? Oh, for f <clears throat> fudge's sake. Not that it's any of your concern, but... We are... You're right, it's not my concern. I already know how your investigation's going. I don't understand how you're doing this. I have a feeling it might do be something to do with your patron. You certainly aren't a normal warlock. And you certainly aren't a normal... <laughs> That's bull. <laughs> she, she literally sends like a bunch of cry laughing faces. Like, you've caught the wrong girl on that one. I couldn't be more boring if I tried. Well, except for the fact that I've got music playing in my head now. She waits. He doesn't respond. He doesn't respond. Okay. That's weird. You're weird. Mm -hmm. This is dumb. This is like... I want this music gone. It's like the plot to scream. <laughs> the call was coming from inside the house. <laughs> I'm going to beat you up and make you take away this music. I don't want to play something that hurts others. Or enchants them. That's not something I'm about. Mm. I... Huh? Did anybody catch that? That's good luck with that. Oh. Good luck with that. Mm -hmm. I don't know who you are. Okay. But I have a Last question, I suppose. Why me? Angry. You already asked this question. Did I? No. Yeah. Didn't he just... Yeah. Wait. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I was focusing on my art. Because I'm... Oh, because I'm you've special. Asked, you've, yeah. you've asked a few of the same Yeah, because I'm... Already. Look, Darius, give me a fucking break, okay? It's not because you're special. It, you literally answered it. You said it was a whim. Oh, right, a whim. I don't yeah. remember that. You, we had this conversation. Okay. I think my pencil's dying. Anyway, uh, she's annoyed now. No, no. Um, She's going to text... Who would be the most... Oh, the most recent person... No, wait, Riley's uh, doing bench stuff. Um, She's going to text Professor Zog. I think he knows already what we're doing. We're going to have to keep a lookout. Do I get a response back, Anthony? I'm sorry. I was talking to my mom. Oh. How could you? How much of that last bit of conversation did you even hear? Uh, 
I heard the bit of you being enthralled and then going to get dispelled. Oh, and then, you've missed called. a lot. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Such as life. Um, okay, so weird, creepy shapeshifter dude has cast an enthrall thing on Lyriel because mm. reasons, I guess. <laughs> um, Dick wizard, but anyway. Yeah. He already knows what we're doing somehow. And Lyriel is sent. Huh? Lyriel what? In your head, that's how he knows. I doubt it's the music in my head. No, I'm in the music with a gateway. He's in your head. I doubt that, but I'm I, I'm sorry for that guy. <laughs> Wild magic. <laughs> Someone has been casting uh, all their memory on you. No, my memories are just fine. But he's going to well, be seeing a lot. Know. As, yeah, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know at all. You wouldn't know. Anyway, he'd be seeing a lot of things he probably wouldn't even want to see if he's in hanging out in Lyriel's head. I don't think he gets. No, he's basically just made you the double agent without you knowing. I don't think that's how And that now works. that you know, it don't matter. Wait, mm. is that literally what he did? Mm. Do you know? I find it kind of funny that the first image result that pops up when I type up Dick Wizard is freaking Merlin. <laughs> um, okay. Dick Wizard! FBO Merlin? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I want I something... Make, I if I can make one, one, one good roll before this whole session ends. Uh, go ahead and try. Fix the damn bench! Yeah, fix the bench, but that's also not the skill you would use. That's not the bench. skill you would use. It's the, it's the, it's the patient. It would be survival, not athletics. What would it be survival? It's the closest thing I can think of. I feel like it'd be more of a. It'd probably be actually. It might be intellect. Like I'm using my hands. Yeah, but it, you, you have to actually. Uh, you, performance, really? No, you cannot. You cannot convince the wood to become a chair again. Yeah. With I don't think that's a charisma based hand. skill. I I would think uh survival because it's a wisdom based skill, so it's based off of, you know how many other things you've crafted with. Um I feel like that just fits. Literally putting the pieces back together. Yeah. I just Yeah, but that's not an athletics thing, that's a survival. And it has nothing to do with just how dexterous your hand is. It has to do with you know, if you know how to put something back together. You wanted to smash the bench again. Then you... Fifteen. Riley is now the wood wizard. <laughs> yeah, it could just be an intelligence check. I thought wisdom would fit the best. Um, yeah, Riley, you're breaking up, but intelligence. Like, does she actually know how to put together a bench? I, well, no, I don't need to know how to put together a bench. I just need to put it back into place. It's literally a puzzle. Yes, the intelligence. Yeah. Well, he's going to make a survival check. Darius, you're uh, not there. Yes, you are able to put a bench back. You're still cutting in anyway. Can anybody else hear? Nope. No. I hate everything and the entire world. God damn it. Um, change your Buy settings. Buy a new mic and everything. No, 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 no. Uh, Discord, um, if you go into your sound settings. I have 100% uh, sound. I'm I'm bursting at my loudest. No, I mean turn off. Uh, turn there's uh, the, the the noise gate. Turn off a uh, noise reduction and echo cancellation. There's a noise reduction and echo cancellation. Where do I? So I'm gonna go. Yeah. Right, good night. I'm about to close up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Under noise voice and video, you can even just turn off noise suppression entirely. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. No, those are both gone. For a second, that landed on two, and I was like. <gasps> <laughs> fixed it. No, you're, I, I'm taking your survival. You fixed it. 
Um, you fixed it, it on your survival. It's not an intelligence base. I go to put it back. Um, and I take out some paint and I ride on like the like the back part, like the, uh, like the part you lean your back on. And it goes, Riley smashing bench. Sit on at your own peril. Okay. Uh, we'll continue the rest. From, I mean, not tomorrow. Next week. <sighs> you still need a ship. You still need a crew. But at least you know where to get your ship and your crew. And you have a captain. Do we? You have a captain. You have Captain Lockhart. Because uh, Pluto convinced Lockhart to join you. Yay. And from the beginning, and from the beginning, I told you, you could have gone to him and asked him, uh, asked him who to talk to, and he would have gone to you uh, with you to port and find a crew. I mean, that was the original plan to you got him shanked in a side story. Yeah, but he's not dead. He just got stabbed. This for the fetch. He's wounded. He's not dead. <laughs> and, <laughs> and like I said at the beginning of this session, you could, um, he has agreed to be your captain. Yeah, but we didn't know that. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, he did. I said that at the beginning of the session. Through Pluto, I said that. Did he? Does anyone have yeah. record of the recollection of this? Because I feel like I'm being gaslit right now. I am really not gaslighting you. We said that at the beginning of this. Honestly, you're, you can't put me believe it. it. So that's why we're all like. That's why like all of us are like. No, you did it. I can't. I hate that you, none of you can hear me. I'm so annoyed with these microphones they have. It only happens on Sunday too, which is like the fucking no, weirdest. No, it happens thing. during the day. No, it happens during the day too. It's just. I don't know why. It happened. It literally happened as he was complaining yeah. about it. I hate this, and I want to cry. This is a brand new headset, and it doesn't work. <laughs> and I'm gonna smash my head into a wall. Into oh, you're not using out. an external mic. Huh? You're not using no. an external mic. Nope. It's connected oh, to my me. headset. Bro, you can get one for like twenty five dollars off of Amazon. Like I I got the cheapest one I could find and it works fine. I just added a filter to make it sound like an expensive one. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Oh, and but by if the it's way, your internet, the, Darius, the, it's not like the mic is gonna do much. My internet also has been literally yeah. shitting the bed. And I don't understand that either. As I bought as well, I thought I had a good plan. Well, you buy the twenty-five dollar mic. You try it out, see if it works. If it if it's not the issue, then you can just return it because Amazon's return policy is ridiculous now because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Also, um, I wasn't really going for a kusar uh, kusari gama. I was actually looking more for the uh, get over here variety. That's a mm. rope dart. Yeah, that's a rope dart. Yeah, I would like a rope dart. So, <laughs> it, it's literally more a chain with a kunai on it. Oh wait, you're the wrong type of you're the wrong type of ganasi. You need to be a fire ganasi. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just splash him or something. No, wait, wind ganasi. So I'll, I'll just blow him away. Yep. There's got to be a better way to say that. No, there doesn't need to be a better. No, way to there say really that. isn't. Um, I said what I said. <laughs> all three of my best roles were literally the last thing I do in this damn session. So let's see, you guys mostly ran around trying to look for a way to go to the ship to get ship stuff. Well, and we had like 20 minutes of actual planning for uh... <clears throat> time to actually plan out. Uh, I mean, yeah, the tactics. I thought the fight was because I remember like Callie said, like the thing was today. So it's like I was planning for the fight this whole time. I didn't say the fight yeah. was today. I thought it was today. Because mm -hmm. last time you guys said that you didn't want to... I, I wanted to do the fight last um because I had my stuff set up. You didn't want to do it. You wanted to go uh, talking stuff. So I thought, all right, I'll, that'll give me a chance to maybe... I'll take an extra look at the whole map again. I'll just tweaks to it, and I'll give you guys two weeks of just, you know, some... Commentary stuff, some talking, and maybe some role play. Uh, and then. Um... And he's gone. There he goes. 
I hate it. I hate everything. I'm so mad. <laughs> I know you're mad, but it doesn't Free. sound like you're mad. Yeah, it just sounds oh, like a lot of silence. <laughs> Anyway, what I was saying is, I was planning on doing it uh, last week. You guys didn't want to do it. Now I have changes I need to make. And it's going to happen next week. Well, what was that again? You broke up again? Fight took us literally the, <laughs> we, we, I, it's like, I wanted to skip it last week, or push it back at least a little bit, because the, the first fight took the whole episode. And, like, again, like we left Juan and Anthony basically out of the whole thing. Yep. Oh, yeah, no. This fight is going to we have a devoted day for it. Oh that was what? Juan and Anthony a chance to actually... It's actively fight. getting worse. Well, at least Juan would be in the fight, but I at least wanted to give... Because I didn't know Zog was going to be in it. I wanted to make sure Anthony actually had something to do. Not just like be yeah. for two episodes. Yeah, and that's what we're going for with this one. No one should be sidelined. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta get the better... I gotta be up for work earlier. The Good, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Where are my other headphones? Try them out. I can't see. Just let me steal a boat. It's not that no one wants to let you steal a boat. We're just we just know, know what's going to happen. Stole motorcycles and all we lost is one eyed dead guy that got to come back to life. Yeah, because two of us made some really uncharacteristically good charisma checks. To be fair, nobody on that stole the motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you steal this boat? No. <laughs> then what's the captain doing tied up to the, to the steering wheel? He wanted to be tied down for safety. Why is his mouth gagged? He's afraid of flies. We came across <laughs> some sirens. Hello. <laughs> Not so sure about the vehicle thing again Hi. because the last time we had a vehicle, Hello. somebody's got dragon legs now. Look, I don't think we can crash a boat that hard. Uh, you see, there you go, tempting. Can you hear again. me any better? Yes. Yeah. Hooray! I grabbed my other headset that I was planning to throw away. Well. Yeah, but that one was having issues up. too. That's the whole reason you yeah. bought the new headset. The issues with this one is I was only able to hear out. I'm still only able to hear out of one ear, but at least you can hear me. Here, let me whisper in your ear. Better than nothing. Anyway, what I was yeah, saying is, um, if we're doing the fight, I want a whole episode planned out for it because it's going to be a long I just know it. Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, you know what that means. It'll be long and action packed, and you guys will kick each other's ass. I mean, technically, we'd be kicking your ass, but. Yeah. I mean. Not literally, since we also have to fight Pluto. At least, at least he didn't do. Let me put a character that I control on our team, because then he'd be kicking his own ass. Yeah. <laughs> you right. <laughs> I'm in danger! Mm. <laughs> You're right there, sir. I'm kicking my own ass. Do you mind? <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Oh, Stop hitting uh, yourself. There was something I saw on... Wait, I had a perfect thing for this. Let me see if I still have it in my library. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> A lot of hydrates are deep. Mm -hmm. I should probably go hydrate. I am thirsty enough. You not. Where the uh, fuck is well, my glue? This is not a hydrate. Is this Riley talking? Where's the glue for the to the bench? <laughs> no, no, no. The the glue is because I'm. I just realized I needed to make a a base. Can I, I like, put oh, your redeem on hold because i am really not in the mood right now what redeem ada ada there you go you already said it we're good yay <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, I'm just really fucking annoyed right now. Why? What happened? Because I thought this whole mysterious music thing was going to go a completely different direction instead of just the weird It's the dick shape, wizard again. The weird oh, no. shifter asshole fucking with me. I mean, there's more to it than just the weird shapeshifter. There is. More I thought it was going to be tied to what was going to happen later, but... It is. How the fuck... Don't worry about it. Stop asking me so many questions. Darius, it's what I fucking do. You know what? I was wrong to even let him talk to you. No, now she's Stupid just pissed. Because now there's some weirdo who doesn't even have, like, a face just fucking with her. Oh, gee, yeah. I wonder what that's like. Hey, yeah, join the club. You can all hate him together. No. You know what, Zog? At least he didn't put some weird shit in your head. True. I, on a I mean, not fucking, yet. <laughs> on a fucking whim, no, apparently. You know, what? you know what? I'm not going to say anything because I'm just going to give him ideas. On, on a I fucking mean... whim, apparently, even though I've... I don't think I've even interacted with him other than at the circus. Directly. I think that was the first time I have directly interacted with him. I threw acid at his... <laughs> that, that, you, that you know of. That you know of. Yeah. You know what? Now that I'm thinking of it. Uh, stream is still on, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Never Why? Mind. You want me to turn the stream off? Hmm? Want me to turn the stream off? It is about time no, for me to turn fine. it off. My drawing's uh, done sure. anyway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we're doing any side stories this week, but if Probably we do... Probably not. Okay, then never mind. Um, Thursday, usual all day is stream. Uh, we're finally out of the, we're finally out of the pyramid. All right. Dang. Time to catch like, Calder up on like a thousand years of history. But I will see I got, you. I gotta go jump down a hole. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go. F I don't know if Jethro's gonna do that on his own or if we gotta jump down a hole with him. That would, that would be advised. Okay. Well, I will see you all on Thursday. Have a good evening.